life of an extended vacation on the company's dime. Bug. Oh, hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, Good we afternoon. Live? We're live. Yes. Yeah, we're live. Yeah. Matt yeah. did the whole hot, countdown. <laughs> hot, hot mics and everything. Uh, I mean, it's a six out of ten, I guess. Yeah. So. Good evening. The whole gang's back. The whole gang's what? here. Yes. Our boy is back. Nick has he hasn't been called old enough. <laughs> I, I, I did my best. You did your to... best, but it's okay. not the same as having an active character here to do it. This is true. I can only <laughs> I can only juggle so many things. But uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We're going to be diving back into our campaign uh, with the whole gang. Girl, haven't had that in a hot second. Uh, I went through everyone's character sheets. It looks like we've all collectively burned our inspiration from last session, so... Oh, um, yeah. We collectively got fucked up. Everyone except Nick, go ahead and roll me a d20. <laughs> Only me, minorly, maybe. We're gonna play oh, highest, I got roll, highest roll tonight. Up, oh, no, why'd you say that? <laughs> <laughs> You have like one of the easiest recaps, dude. True. Yeah, it, really? it, yeah. <clears throat> one day I'll make it the middle. At least I... No, you won't, because then it'll make you have to think oh, for more shit, than two seconds played. about it. Rude. All right. Uh, Malvor, go ahead, if you'd be so kind, to give us a bit of recap from last week. So last time, uh, we um, enacted our plan. We actually started in the town, uh, in the village in Darwinian. Um, and we discussed what our plan would be now that Moore has abandoned us so cruelly. Um, <laughs> and we decided to stick with Moore's plan and sneak into the camp, posing as merchants with a uh, giant cask of uh, wine, which worked out really well, despite the language barrier that we did not plan for. Um, we were invited in, we partied with the soldiers, <laughs> we explored the camp for a little bit, Fig hu hung about 20 miles back, uh, as a bear, uh, not really as well, she became a bear later, but, uh, then we were invited to the commander's tent, he was like, hey, um, we're not gonna turn down free labor, uh, you're slaves now, and, uh, Syrian and I were like, um, fuck that shit, and we stole his weapons, <laughs> Um, to arm ourselves, and we uh, we did battle. Um, and the com the commander uh, whooped Syrian's ass with a pair of manacles. Um, but you know we killed the commander. Syrian killed Don't manacles. Um, Syrian uh, killed three dogs. Um, he's the only person who killed any dogs. Um, sorry, I'm a horrible person. Fig got like 10 kills because she came in as a bear and distracted most of them. So Fig got like 10 kills. Syrian got like three kills. And Malvol got a single kill that he was, he was in a sniping battle with an archer for a while. Um, and so Fig the plan. Got a, Fig got an, uh, a Harrier uh, kill streak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the plan. <laughs> the plan defaulted to plan K, which stands for kill everybody. Um, earth. And that's exactly what we did. Minus we one. killed everybody except for one individual who managed to escape past Fig onto horseback. Because then Syrian fell unconscious. <laughs> and um, Fig's like, I'll be right back. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. And that is where we ended the session in the middle of a corpse filled camp. Um, to and uh, we have to free the prisoners and hightail it out of here before the rest of the camp comes back. Who was uh, serendipitously on patrol? Um, using big words. I don't even know if that's actually a word, but I did my best. Um, the root word is a real word. I know. That's what I serendipitously. But I said it with such I confidence. Say, like, Syrian, like serendipitous, would be like, hold what? on. It's like, oh wait, not Serendip. Oh no, serendipity. There is serendipitous though. Okay. Serendipitously. The, the the event was very sen uh, serendipitous. Yes, I was thinking. Yeah, you're you're fine either way. <laughs> 
I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm Aaron not fine, but close enough. Anyway. No. Uh, and that's it. We're, that's where we are. Still in the camp with corpses. And we got to get out of here. My yeah. favorite part and was... And we were specifically asked to figure out what we wanted to do in the camp before the session started. <laughs> My yeah, favorite part was... Too. Was Fig coming up and doing the whole playing off of your legend, the legend of the bear ghost idea? Oh, yeah. And being like, you've pissed off Mother Earth, now I get you. <laughs> mm hmm. I get you. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Mavor. You may take your inspiration for the evening. Don't spend it all in one place. I mean, that's exactly the point of it. <laughs> that's exactly the only thing you can do. With it. <laughs> Uh, yes, the Fellowship uh, made their way over to a uh, Wayne Rider camp uh, directed to them by Erison, the Avari captain of what semblance of a guard there was at a village in Darwinian, um, urging them to rescue captives that were abducted uh, some days ago uh, to put the fellowship on better terms with the village as a whole. He was more than willing to speak on their behalf, especially thanks to Moore's uh, prior friendship, but his word only goes so far and he urged them all to, you know, help us and we'll help you. At the camp, it bought you guys some time. Your, your ruse got you inside and enough to hopefully get the lay of the land and potentially uh, locate the prisoners. Guards were actively watching, so you probably didn't get quite everything you wanted to with your time quickly running out. The Wayne Rider captain and an Easterling spearman uh, enact their desire to make you among the number of abducted individuals to be sent east. Um, fight ensued in absolute slaughter. Uh, and we return there tonight at the scene of the crime with all the Wayne Riders slaughtered at your feet and about three dogs as well uh, as you guys all regain your your breath from the quick fight. Um, Nick, go ahead and take inspiration just for returning with us all tonight. Oh, man. Oh, I, I, should go, I should go on a hiatus. <laughs> who, who rolled the next You come highest? back dead. Not me. <laughs> That would be Syrian. Okay, tonight's trivia question uh, is really going to test your listening skills and memory as it's not necessarily something that was stated in last session. But it okay. applies to last session. The title for last session was in uh, was Snagas. Oh. What does Snaga mean? Ah, oh, I was like, oh, I know the title last episode. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you a hint that you have encountered orc and goblin-esque NPCs whose titles have been Snaga trackers. Isn't Snaga related to, like... It's on the tip of my tongue, and I know for a fact I might get this wrong. And once you say it, I'd be like, God damn it, I remembered that. Um, by the way, I want to point out in my notes, I had full intention of taking them, and I just put the date down. Um, okay. Combat will do that. <laughs> Three and a half hours. I'm going to say it's related to Gondorian people, yes? Is that your final answer? That is my <laughs> final answer. It is incorrect. Damn, I thought you said it was correct. I was like, yeah. Lindsay, I'll give you a shot if you know it. I feel like... No, I see. I think I missed that entirely. Um, oh, no, not from last session, though. Um, I want to go with something like a... Like a... <laughs> Because with Snaga trackers, like, yeah, like you said, with the orcs and goblins and stuff, and then Snaga's here, I want to go with something more like a, like a hunter-ranger-esque theme, but I can't go any closer than that. What, wait, what does Snaga mean? That's the question? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a black speech word, so it would be an orcish word. Yeah, so it would have to... Oh, um, all right. Let me think of some context here. 
<laughs> Let's not spend all night on this. Trivia night with adventure check. I want to go with something like... Oh, God damn it. Just uh, all the points. If you get this wrong, you die. <laughs> so yeah, so now I'm like... So now I'm like, there. It's snaga is the word for for what they're for the type of prey they're tracking, and that could be from like men to elf or otherwise. And in this case, from last session, it could be like, um, like the wayward el the uh the the elves here. So I kind of want to. I'm just gonna. Oh. But are, that's where my you're, you're train really of thought thinking. starts. What's your yeah, answer? That's where I'm gonna just go with elf. Elf, Even though I'm pretty answer. sure, I'm pretty sure that's not what Snaga is in Black Speech, though. But, uh, um, is that your final answer? Elf. Yeah, let's just go with it because otherwise I'll spend another ten minutes. That <laughs> is incorrect. Damn it! And I take a shot at it. Be Slave. Oh. The Dad. answer is no, Dap. I was literally getting ready to say I actually watched that episode relatively recently and knew what it was. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it their snaga trackers are slave trackers. slave trackers. They are meant to find escaped slaves or find individuals to become slaves for the most part. Aww. So the reference in last week's episode being snagas were the captives were set to be yep. slaves. And, uh, and I was on that train of thought too. That's why I got to elf. <laughs> You just but, went too specific. Too specific. Gee, yep. what else is new with my overthinking you, you brain? You outthought yourself. Yep. Gee, what else is new with my overthinking brain? Congratulations, you outthought yourself. Yep, that's right. every day of my life. <laughs> well, with that, we pick up right where we left off as the fight has just uh, settled. Uh, Fig is coming down from her rage, uh, and Syrian is probably tending to a open wound after falling unconscious and open getting wounds. down to, to two failed death saves. So got real dicey there. But ha. I'll hand it over over to the, the fellowship here. As so, uh, is yours. We, we need just to, to move. speed things along. I'm just going to say, let's get my, let's get our weapons that they took from us and let's get the slaves out. I was just going to say that we got to move quick. Someone escaped. Uh, they were going to bring back reinforcements and we got to get out of here. Um, so, Syrian. I, uh, I don't want to stay here any more longer than I, than, than I have to. Syrian, well, um, look after yourself, Syrian. Uh, Fig, you, uh, the cages are over there in the ground. Uh, break out the prisoners. Get them in the cart. I'm going to go to the tent. Understood. I'm going to go to the tent and I'm going to search for any records that might point to where they were planning on sending them or anything Ooh. useful. I'm going to well, search for our weapons. No, so right before I dash out and right next to you, Syrian, I'm going to take off Malvor's sword and shield and put them down at your feet. And I'm also going to take your bow, quiver, and dagger and put them down at your feet, since I was still carrying all of that just as bear. And then I'm yeah. going to run to the cages like uh, Malvor instructed. Okay. I'll restrap okay. on the weapons I Fig put it, put it at our feet, my dagger, my bow and arrows. Um, and I'll go look for our weapons and any semblance of a cage if I run past it and free people. Okay, well, you know, for the most part where the cages are, and that's where Malvor's, uh, or that's where Fig is heading over to, um, I'll say the weapons themselves aren't terribly hard to find. It's not like they hid them, uh, especially probably with the keen eye that the, at least one of you probably had when they were taken from you. You probably watched where they went. Uh, they're over by one of the uh, carts and tents that was near uh, one of the large yurts. Um, so you can easily find those. Uh, Fig, you run over to the uh, the ground um, holding cells for the most mm -hmm. part. And you, you glance inside and you see a handful of dirty and scared uh, individuals ranging from um, sort of like preteen teenagers uh, to uh, full adults and uh, uh, mostly el uh, elderly at that point. Uh, and they're all just sort of like looking at you with wide-eyed uh, and scared looks on their face. Um, uh, you go ahead. I, I'm going to look at the... I'm going to first try in Sindarin and go, do you understand me? No. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to be like, I 
Okay, and then I'm just gonna try to bust out, bust open the cage or something because I don't have a key. Oh, what do I do? Um, I toss you I, the key. Break it. Oh, oh I, I've had the key the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the key and just jam it in and just start working quickly and just be like, safe, safe to everybody. <laughs> every every person you pull out, saved, saved, <laughs> saved. That's, that's gonna... big body count, safe. You so, no, and it will be scarier because I'll just grab each one by like the collar of the shirt and be like, one, safe, two, <laughs> safe. <laughs> you, you, you start, uh, you un unlock the cages and you begin helping everybody uh, out of the holes. Yeah, um, and then I'm going to point at the cart as I do so and go, go there, there. Around like, <laughs> around, like the fifth person that you help out is a bit of an elderly fellow uh sort of like a scraggly beard down to here uh hunched over a bit and you pull him out he looks at you and and as you say if you're actually going saved he he looks at you and goes uh, thank you yeah uh, oh finally <laughs> can you can you please tell everyone to get onto the cart for me uh, yes yes we i i can do that we, we all speak western fuck <laughs> you don't. You don't need to. You don't need to slow down to, for us to understand. We, we we speak it well. No, this is how I speak. It's fine. Um, please, everyone, just get to the cart. There is a very. Uh, there is a guy with many weapons and an old guy who will help bring the cart out of here. <laughs> I am so happy. That's how I'm described. Very good, very good. Everyone, everyone, this this way. We're we're, we're leaving. Cool. Usher. And I'm just gonna everyone. keep making sure everyone is out and and okay. And if anyone needs help getting to the cart, like the elderly or something, I'll just scoop them all up in my over my shoulders and everything. <laughs> all right. Uh, Malvor, go ahead and give me an investigation check as you run into the... You said you were going to the, the yurt where you were speaking yeah. with the other two originally? Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's where the information would be if it was there. Yeah, you, you walk 16. into uh, a dead body and three dead dogs um, <laughs> in a hole torn through the back of the yurt. 16, you, you look over, and one of the first things that's hard to miss that you look at is the table there is a sort of a map of the region. Um... There's not a whole lot of detail to the map, uh, mostly sort of like the wood-carved markers that are placed in various areas. Uh, and you notice, as I pull up a different color here, uh, in ellipse, yes, there we go, um, you notice a marking about in this area. I am on the wrong layer. I was going to say, nothing's as coming always, up. I'm always forever on the wrong layer. Oops. <laughs> uh, in this region. Uh, and then a smaller one here. And a smaller one here. But as you do look over the rest uh, of the interior, uh, the... Not a whole lot in terms of, like, crates or bags or anything that you might find, but you do notice uh, sort of under the map that was a bit of tucked away uh, is a folded piece of parchment that as you, you pull out it is uh, hastily written in Western that appears to be some sort of communication. Uh, the address E, if you will, the name that sort of opens up the... Uh, the communication is addressed to a uh, Dazind. How do you spell that? Thank you. And reading that name, go ahead and give me a uh, traditions check. Twelve. My net. My my rolls are fallen. Oh no. Twelve. <laughs> It's not bad. Um, it's it's not really testing too too strong of a knowledge or in depth at this point. You just recognize the the origin of culture of where this name might originate, and it is definitely Easterling. 
So based on that and the individuals that were present, you believe this might have been the the spearman uh, that was uh, now dead, but that was here, and at least the one that spoke Western for the most part. Um. Okay, I'm not gonna read um, the letter right now. Okay. Um. But is that all I find? Yeah, other than, you know, uh, a quiver of arrows and uh, a horse bow and just some various mundane armaments, there, there's yeah. not a whole lot here. Um, well, we got to move fast, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, collect the map, collect the letter, um, collect the arrows, and uh, I'm going to go uh, to where everyone else is and prep, uh, be ready to run, be ready to get out of here. Let's get out of As soon as soon as I get everyone secure on the cart, I'm going to try to do a, uh, I'm going to do a loud whistle to try to call for a, a wild step where I left him. Thank you. <laughs> the key is to lean away from the mic. <laughs> I, but I can't quite whistle like that anyway, so. <laughs> I'm <Okay>. learning. Uh, <laughs> wild step, uh, you hear uh, the the neigh in the distance, and Wild Step eventually uh, makes their way uh, down to the camp where you are, uh, barreling in time. gracefully like Shadowfax. <laughs> yes. Uh, at this point, uh, most of the individuals are loaded into the the cart that you guys trekked along with uh, some of the Darwinian wine. Okay, is everyone as comfortable as can be? Um, I'm kind of like I'm kind of like just stumbling back a little bit, and I'm just gonna like walk past Malvor, like press his sword into his chest, be like, "Here, I found this for you," or whichever weapons you gave to the people. Uh, just just my bow. Your bow. Okay. Whatever. I, whatever Thank I found. Whatever you gave to them, I gave back. Thank you. Um, should we uh, free any other horses that we're not taking, just to deny our enemy their use? I can do I, that if you want to go ahead already. Okay. I, can catch I say up. I say we burn down the camp. Uh, have fun with that. Um, I'm gonna hit the road. There's not gonna be time, I think. Uh, I can free the horses since I won't be part of the cart. Are there any like torches or anything around that we see? There were torches that sort of uh, dot the the perimeter, uh, but they were not lit since it was daylight. Ah, okay. Never mind. Forget it. Um, yeah. I appreciate okay, the energy for both times of day. Yeah, good idea. Otherwise, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to uh, drive the wagon with all the all the prisoners, and we are going to get out of here. Yep, I'm, I'm gonna not, take my. I'm axe. not waiting for Fig. I'm taking. Nope, don't wait for me. I'm taking my axe and slicing through the reins that are tied, um, that have the horses tied to their post, and just telling them to shoo and be free, and then I'll hop on Wild Step and just. Uh, go after them. I'll be up. on the wagon with Malvor while he's doing that. Or while she's doing animal, that. Give me an animal handling check. Oh, if it doesn't work, I'm just going to roar at them. <laughs> That's fine, too. Because <laughs> they, are, they are trained, so when you release them, they don't immediately just take off because this is where... <laughs> 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 all right and then all the I'm horses uh surround you and start work. kicking the shit out of you <laughs> <laughs> they all just stare at me like <laughs> <laughs> no nope. if that doesn't work i'm just gonna take my shield and axe out and um kind of just shoot the blood just go <laughs> as i bash the axe against the shield just like okay. <laughs> sorry one more time what was that <laughs> It, it initially aggravates you and, and throws you off uh, a bit, uh, but making the noise and uh, literally screaming at them is enough for them to at least go, the fuck's this bitch about? Uh, yep. And at least get further away from you. I'll take it. I don't have time either, so I just jump on wild step and go. I want that sound bite. It's the fuck this bitch about. I need, I, I need that for work. <laughs> Definitely needs to be Brian's ringtone for tech. <laughs> if only I didn't exclusively use vibrate. 
<laughs> I do. Uh, I do exclusively use vibrate as well. Same. I, I, Same. I have to. The era is long dead. I know. Yeah. Sad. My Italia Germany ringtone. Rip. <laughs> All right. Uh, on the back of one of your horses, as Fig mounts a uh, wild step and goes to catch up with the uh, the cart, uh, the two of you uh, in the cart uh, are being pulled at a decent pace uh, by the, the two horses that are hitched to it. Um, Fig is able to catch up after some time, um, but uh, the three of you continue to sort of trace um. your footsteps back westward northwestward uh to make your way towards the village that's roughly a day's ride i'm gonna go ahead while we're riding i'm gonna give siri in the reins i'm gonna say uh hold on to this for a second siri and, and now i'm gonna pull out that letter and read it okay now i'll take control of the reins okay uh you you read it over and it's it's very very short um it doesn't dive down into great detail and it looks like it was hastily written uh but it references a temple in the east and that a larger uh number of uh snagas are required both for uh finishing of construction and for uh potential offering oh Oh boy. Uh, Law Master. See. May I please use my mm. vigilant senses feature to try and see if I can detect uh, nearby enemies or ambushes? You certainly may. Does that involve a roll? Uh, advantage on perception ability checks when seeking to detect enemies or ambushes. Uh, you may go ahead and roll perception at advantage. Yay! Wait, isn't it almost nighttime by now? Because I went in as a bear when the sun was setting. Doesn't that just give you advantage? And expertise, but I just wanted oh, to confirm expertise. the time of day when I suddenly had that thought. Yeah, getting all the bonuses you can. No, no, th this was more like a legit question for time of day. I, I don't care either way. <laughs> the, fight, the fight was fairly quick, though not in real time. Um, but I would say it's, I would say it's probably about early evening. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll allow it. Go ahead. Oh, no, I, I literally... Okay. I just really wanted... I was just curious about the time of day, but sure. Uh, A generous guy. By the way, by the way Malvor, the <laughs> missive was signed by a name. Um, Darkness! Shari. Uh, Dolwyn. Thank you. What did you roll? 18. Uh, as you guys uh, make some distance between yourself and the camp, you ride out ahead uh, of the cart and, and perch yourself on one of the rolling hills to get a better view of the area. You see the shifting of colors as the, the, the plains uh, has wind roll through it, and you look around and spots several calm birds circling above or even pecking at uh, carrion uh, in, the, in the landscape. But for the most part, you don't see any immediate signs of ambush or uh, or threats. Okay, I would like to continue to remain alert as we travel, since I am not, since I don't need to be focusing on the cart or missives or passengers of any kind. If that is possible. That is definitely possible. I will keep that in mind. Oh. Yes, I know, Wild Step. I'm covered in blood. It's it's fine. Get over it. I don't think Syrian has any blood left on his insides. <laughs> it's all back there. <laughs> you will always be I'll a part of the land now, okay. Syrian. Yes. Good. I'm glad. It's quite metaphorical. <laughs> Probably like half wine, too. What's your point? <laughs> I was just trying to channel. I just felt like that'd be something Fig would say. Part of the land. <laughs> it felt very, very nature, very apt. Helps break the tension of that fight. That fight fucking sucked. Well, I mean, we got what we set out to do, I guess. We did. Right? We did. And, uh... 
you 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 fight like a you fight like a dragon. I do, or Fig does. You do. Fig's a killer. Fig's a bear. Fig's Fig's a monster. Stepped out of the darkness to slaughter her foes. That's how the that's how the uh, the the um the tales the feats of pig starts. She's a monster. She's a, <laughs> she's, she's a, a killer. killer. She's a monster. She steps out of the dark to. I don't even remember what you said. I think I, I think we can do like two seconds before you get the MCA. <laughs> <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> It was it was the cadence you did through that. that yeah, like yeah, it really <laughs> was. <laughs> Slam poetry. <laughs> well, I was almost a slain dragon, but thank you. Just wanted to help out my friend as I kind of like move my shoulder after taking a couple blows, just trying to move it, stretch it out. Yeah, that guy wasn't wearing a shirt. Toughest guy to kill. Yeah, but I beat him with his own hammer. How? That's gonna be a hell of a story. Oh yeah. Did you keep the hammer? I did not. Oh. Why not? Ugh, that's okay. Yeah. I never said I kept it, so technically. No, I know. That would have been a sick a, idea. It would have been sick, but it's like, what am I gonna do with it? Oh, I was wondering. Smash if... people's faces. <laughs> You, I, I understand. Sorry, out of character. I understand I've been gone for a while, but you remember that I was walking around with a giant spear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Had, I like, have a sword, a dagger, a bow. It's like that. I feel like you're a I want fighter. My sword to have the ability to transform into a hammer and be like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I am smashing. You know what? Next time we go to, I'm buying a hammer. Fuck it. I, we all just got it's viewer inspiration, BT Dubs. What's that? Oh, Sorry, damn. We, we all just got viewer inspiration, BT Dubs. Mini oh. came in like a wrecking ball. Mini, <laughs> my, my man. Mini, don't be sick. Yeah, stop that. I'm sorry. Yeah, Kevin's job. My job? Yeah, they'd be sick all the time. They're bad at it, but. Still oh, I'll say it's like I'm mentally sick, but I mean. Oh no! no, no none no, no, no. of this here! None of this here! Let's keep going! Let's keep going! We do not have enough time to get into that with this group. None of this here! <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so we're riding. Awkward. Pause. On onwards and upwards. <laughs> New. Can Continue I sip on, on some wine as we're going? Out of my, out of one of my wine I, pouches, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop one. I'm gonna have like the reins, kind of like both of them in one hand, like how you see riders using a sword. Don't drink and drive, kids. <laughs> one, well, I, I see him say, do that. I take the reins to, back. I was gonna say you're gonna have to fight the prisoners for it first, because I feel like they're right next to the wine, and they're probably no, like, oh my, my god. <laughs> I pulled out my own wine skin for this. Hydrate or die. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Don't okay. Mean. Certainly, as you as you ride back along, you can you know take out your own refreshment and and uh, you know numb the physical pain that your body probably is very much in. Um, every every so often a bump as the the wagon goes along sort of shifts your weight and you just feel the, the tenderness of the skin uh, be <sighs> underneath the 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 heavy armor uh that you're wearing that's the worst ah oh, yep yep this is this is helping with it yep that's the worst feel ride along uh heading back towards uh the village you s stop after a distance as night falls and try your best to stay out of out of sight and you know keep keep the quiet uh and keep the uh the prisoners uh out of sight um 
one of you can or somebody with advantage can give me a survival check. Ah, oh, pick me. Fig. Okay, yeah. Fig. <laughs> you 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 had a very convincing Let's argument. go survival, right? I have with advantage. Do you think I have, I have no body die to give you. Um, I will add my viewer inspo because why not? Get a four. Three! Close enough. Oh, hopefully that helps. 19. Uh, with f your leadership fig uh, to best conceal in the night, um, you are able to find uh, an outcropping of, of rocks in the plains and obscure uh, the wagon and the horses the best you can to to keep uh, everyone safe. You're fairly confident uh, that you, the three of you, have done a decent job to keep everyone uh, obscured. Oh, after after all that, can I go back? Um, quick question: Can Dream Bear physically interact with anything? In what regard? Like footprints can in the dirt. See it, see it. Like like footprints in the dirt and stuff. No. It, okay. It's it's ethereal, so it doesn't really leave behind. Uh, okay. Tracks. I'm. Okay, then. Um, just as Fig, I'm leaving Wild Step with them. I want to go out a distance from where we just came and start trying to cover as much of the tracks as I can so it doesn't specifically lead us to here, too. It can't do that. No, not as Dream Bear, as myself. Oh, okay. Sorry, I missed the transition. All good. I might not yeah, have specified okay. after that conclusion in my head. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you, can, you can certainly uh, go out and do that. Go ahead and give me a, a, a stealth check if you're trying to, you know... Okay. Be yeah, I'll do that too. <laughs> otherwise, you otherwise you can forego it and just do what you do. No, I'm gonna try to be careful as best as you I do can. You, baby boo. Twenty two. Yeah. Nice. I don't, I don't try to lead people on with what roles they should make if they're not going to, especially when stealth. Uh, I, so, <clears throat> sorry, I didn't mean to <laughs> tell you. No, to it's do fine. I was expecting work. another survival, but the stealth is a good idea too, so it's fine. No, in this case, you're, you're you're taking your time and you you are familiar with the route you took. You weren't necessarily doing any serpentine to like try and throw anything off. So you know where to find the tracks. It's more or less if you're willing to take the time for how far out you're going to go to begin covering them. So covering yes. them is not difficult. Yes, I want um, to take my time. It was more of a concern of potential concern if would you be seen doing it. Ah, okay. In this case. So. Okay. So you you venture out, you you cover them up, and you begin to make your return back to camp. Okay. Uh, does does this rest count as a short rest? If you would like it to be, <gasps> I will take advantage of that. Yes. <laughs> For the love of God, yes. <laughs> I mean, Kevin, I, was, you don't need it. I had to. <laughs> you know what? I had You're to right. quickly. I had to quickly think about due to the the journey and everything. And since you still haven't come across the long rest, if you would mechanically, if I should give you another uh, short rest, but yes. Um, I, I have campfire. I have campfire tails. You can add one d six for every uh, hit die you spend. Thank Ooh, God. Fun. Re re really, really beef out those hit die. Yeah, I'll wait God for everyone to finish rolling. I am done. I just rolled one hit die and one campfire tail. C A M P E F. Twitter. Fire! Yeah. <laughs> Can you wait? Wait! I can't All imagine Malfour singing this and Fig's just like, what? <laughs> 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 no, Fig is what? literally Squidward in that. Be like, Fig! <laughs> Good! But no, Fig would be confused and then maybe attempt. <laughs> All right, let me... Are you done rolling, Kev? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Uh... Eh. Ooh! 
you know what? I might just be happy with that. I am happy with that. Sweet. Okay. Short rest over? Yes. Yeah. I'm I'm spending my short rest cleaning up Wild Step from any blood that may have dripped on him from my clothes. And I'm giving and then I'll go to all of our horses and give them um some of the horse feet I still have. Okay. Just bandaging myself up, cleaning like just excess blood off my armor, just be like, God, it's like kind of brush it off, get it off. I'm also eating a honey cake. You see throughout the night that most of the freed prisoners remain awake and are very quiet and sort of huddled off into one area. Um, they watch you for the most part, but they don't really approach or, or speak to anyone um, without being approached or, or, you know, opened up to first. But they seem still very scared and very quiet. Mm -hmm. Can I walk up to them? Um, let me hold on before I get too, too crazy. I had something. Yeah, we need a good guy moment here. I'm going to walk over and I'm going to give... How many prisoners are there to be free, roughly? Eight. I'm going to give four of my rations to the prisoners, and then that way they can, like, split it into twos and at least have something to eat while we're kind of, like, catching our breath. And I know they can't understand me, but I'll kind of, like, gesture, like, with a somewhat kind-looking face just going up and just offering out my, my rations for them to split amongst each other. Uh, one of them hesitantly takes them, uh, from you and begins passing them around, and, and he, he looks at you. Thank you, sir. It, it means a lot, truly. Ah, no need for thanks. Are you all okay? <laughs> a little, a little off point, I, I won't lie. Well, oh, relax, I'll give him, I'll give him like a pat on the shoulder, like, you're safe. Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hey. Nice. 16. 16. Okay. It's... We're all very, very hungry, so we, we greatly appreciate this. And if you don't mind me asking, our trust is a little thin right now. Where are we going? <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> oh, we're taking you out of camp to be our prisoners. <laughs> uh, he just hears Malvor say that. I look back, like, don't say that one. No, I'm kidding. Um, we're taking you back home to Darwinian. You just, this heavy sigh of relief that just comes off of uh, this individual. Very, is probably closer to middle-aged and sort of short, scraggly, like, dirty blonde hair, and the facial hair is growing over from the time that he's just been away from home. And you just see him just keep his eyes closed as he chews a little bit on the rations that you gave him. <sighs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I'll kind of, like, just... I'll kind of, like, just squat down. Like, I'm assuming he's sitting, right? Or something like that? Yeah. Okay, I'll kind of, like, squat down, like, just, like, get to his level. It's like, many hardships you have endured are over. We're getting you home. Pass that along to those who can't quite understand me. Oh, we we all speak Western. Ah, perfect! So you all understand me. <laughs> <laughs> you, they, they all just, like, are nodding at you. So I, just, I just look, sorry, just used to the previous era. Never mind. Um, round of wine on me when we get back. There's just sort of a tension that's pulled out of the air. Uh, uh, just with that little bit of interaction. Just There's just an ease that sort of washes over that group. What's your name, friend? Colin. Colin. 
I am Syrian. You don't look like you're from around here. <laughs> uh, I'm from Gondor, mate. You just see, like, a twitch in the eye just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh. A bit away from home, aren't you? Yeah. We're not all bad. I dare not assume. And whatever brought you out this far, I dare not look a gift horse in the mouth. I'll just give a little oh. chuckle. Just relax. It's all okay. If you don't mind me asking, what, what brings you out this far? Uh, we're just looking for someone. Friend of a friend. Well, I hope you find them. There's a vast open land out here. But you found us, so... I like to think that there is some, some good luck in the world. Indeed there might be. Rest up, we're gonna be leaving soon. Thank you. And I'll stand um, up and just kind of head back to the group. Just, we don't have, just really quick. I'm just going to, uh, while we're, while we have some downtime here, I'm just going to, uh, take out, take out my harp and play a soft medley on it. Soft melody. Okay. Campfire Tales and song. Probably part of my the campfire tale can tales. can be a song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a performance check. How very Tolkien-esque. 23. Nice. 23. These, these fingers the, are fire. Is the, <laughs> the soft notes that come off the, the strings seem to, to ride the wind that blows through and just carry out into the world. And even, even though they come from uh, an elvish instrument that are sort of naturally attuned to to sweet sounds and, and melodies there there's a there's a bit of of gondorian rustic uh behind it but it's it's foreign to to to, to the the camp members at this point but it's it's another calming layer that just sort of gives everyone a sense uh, of of home And then I go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> For like the second half of the short rest. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody like to do anything else? I don't think so. Okay. I'll say you next morning comes and you break camp and with a probably quarter of a half day, quarter to a half day ride ahead of you, uh, you all set off and it's, it's not long and it's a fairly easy uh, and safe portion uh, of the trek at this rate. Uh, Fig, you're keeping an ever watchful eye out. You... Uh, don't observe anyone following or even being in the immediate vicinity. Seemingly the Wayne Riders that might be in the region or the ones that had left that camp uh, have not returned or they are not on your trail. Okay. I'll still keep an eye out. Okay. After a while, uh, you guys come over uh, a bit of uh, the hillsides. Uh, and into a more uh, farmland area that seems to be cleared out as you see the, the thatched roofing uh, of the village uh, with their stone brick uh, uh, foundations and bits of uh, white smoke coming from some of the cottages and a handful of individuals out working uh, the vineyards. But you have uh, made it back to the village as you... Uh, direct the horses uh, back uh, down one of the muddied uh, uh, alleyways and roadways and come back into sort of the, the center of town. We did it! 
Sometimes it's good just to be fucking heroes. <laughs> that should be that should be on a t-shirt. Well, something good after a long time of bad. We should uh inform uh uh Allison, although I'm uh, Arison, although I'm pretty sure um he's a He's probably already aware of our return. I feel like news reaches him fast. Well, let's just be courteous and go see him anyway. Okay. Yep, so we'll make our way to the uh, uh, town hall. Okay. Uh, the uh, rescuees uh, begin letting themselves out of the, the back of the cart and seemingly uh sort of like congregate in the center of town speaking to one another uh and a few of the avarian uh guards uh come over and start conversing with them and, and getting them uh situated uh you head over towards the one of the 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 halls uh in the center of town where you'd previously uh met with Arison, uh and as you uh open up the door uh you see uh, Arison standing over one of the central fires that he has his hand out uh, and over it seems to be just either feeling the heat as they sort of uh, the flames sort of lick the air his uh, hood pulled down uh, and looking towards a, a seated individual across from him uh, dressed in some some furs and, and black leathers well I know you've had a, uh, a long journey that's the wrong accent <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you're not Arasan, an imposter. <laughs> so, I'm gonna draw my, I'm gonna draw my sword, charge at him. Who are you, imposter? Illusion. <laughs> what are you hiding? I know, I know you've had a long journey, but it's welcome to see you back here, look. I almost spat out my water. <laughs> ah, the returned heroes. Please come. We have a visitor of our, of my own that I wish to introduce you to. And I'm just gonna be Age just kind of like, yet to take you. <laughs> <laughs> Do my you eyes betray me? A uh, blade will take me long before age does. I fear. Maybe I'm getting old because I think my uh, my my old eyes are seeing lock. What what are you? It is me. What are you doing all the way out here, of all places? Apologies, you all know each other. Yes, we, we do. traveled together before I ended up here. He looks uh, at the three of you. I am so sorry that you had to travel with this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you remember You remember that stalagmite, Lock? How, how, how's that, I, how, how's I, that I healed? Over, I look over at him like, you, you, you're talking about me having to travel with that one, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the walking corpse. I mean, he is a bit old from the ones that I've come across, sure. But you must understand that I'm as practically as old as time itself. <laughs> this is true. A couple thousand years did no one any harm. <laughs> a couple thousand years would do me a lot of harm. The West is about the stalagmites. You did not. You did not talk about this uh, previously. Mm. <laughs> Conversation for another time. Not one of my prouder moments, and I still got the scar to show it. Well, I best not pry, but I'm sure Nithil will want to know all about it. Nithil. Do you have any idea how bad I had to fight my brain from just going, we? <laughs> <laughs> That's not Sindarin or Quenyan or whatever. Let's just hand wave that all Sindarin is just French. <laughs> no. I, I, feel like, I feel like that would upset some very, uh, I feel like that would upset uh, fig, people. Fig does not need a French accent. No, thanks. You uncut yes. a swine. 
Yes, Nithir. She is one of the... one of our leaders among the Avari. Sorry, Avari. Sometimes I forget my own accent. It's not one that I'm accustomed to. I don't speak to a lot of people. <laughs> when I actually switch over to, to Sindarin, the, the accent just disappears. Interesting. Well... Look, it's... it's good to see you. It's good to be seen. Battling this far alone wasn't exactly the easiest. Yeah! Ugh, Locke, you weren't... Ugh, there's so much to catch up on, Locke. You weren't there for when we went through Shelob's lair. Twice! Twice. And That's we lived. What? Excuse <laughs> you. <clears throat> I look over at Syrian. How in the hell did you manage to keep him alive through that? Uh, with gentle footsteps and a can-do attitude. Not easily. And, and then there's none of those things. There's the vampire lord. Damn. Oh, I. I uh, I got bit by a vampire. That was. I'm... Why are you that... in the light then? That was his choice. I it was a very touching to moment. The competency of this group. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it don't question the competency, Arison, because the camp is destroyed and your people are free. Well, I cannot fault you there. Well, we'll get the get to the lucky families. once in a while. I've gotten lucky several times. I should be dead three times over. If it wasn't for Fig, I would be. Speaking of lucky, Locke, last I heard you departed with uh, two members, yet only you return. Yes, I was sent away, more or less, to come yeah. and gather what I could and report. Let's see. Well, I hope, um... And this is me I reading hope... over the notes, trying to remember what it is I'm supposed to be reporting. <laughs> <laughs> I... That's, that report is not for me. I merely hear what I'm supposed to. Um... Your report back would probably be more well received, but I I hope the situation you find yourself in is not a, a dire one. Well, if history dictates anything, having rejoined this group, there's no chance of it being anything but. How do you feel I about uh, disrupting an ancient ritual that threatens the entire world? Uh, yes, it got worse. You really don't know how to slow roll these things, do you? No, because it's they fun don't. just to hit you w with one shock after the other. I don't know about that, but uh, anyway. Unfortunately, that is just how life has dealt things as of recent to us. Believe me, I know a thing or two about that. Uh, by the way, this is how Locke appears to you all right now. Oh, do we have a new character design? Oh. <laughs> Look at that drip. I like it. Very much different. <clears throat> I'm, I'm glad all of our character designs have... I feel like all of our character designs have changed from the beginning. Mine has not. I think mine's the only <laughs> one that has it. <laughs> you know what that means? Makeover! <laughs> yeah, I'll wait for level 10. How about that? <laughs> Look, you can't travel here across the countryside in bright blues and reds. It just wasn't going to happen. It really clashed with our whole aesthetic. Uh, that too, <laughs> but... It's a little easier to avoid detection when you're not flashy. Well... But the Marvel would never know what that's like. <laughs> Flashy is in my nature. Unfortunately, and that's how we ended up in jail. But we got out. Don't forget that part. You're, you're welcome. Thank you. And thanks for a big bear, <laughs> friend. <laughs> Not saying I got us out, just that we got out. No, you just lost your damn mind. <laughs> no, that bird was real. The the bird. <laughs> that's implying he had his mind. <laughs> well Ah, uh, the antics are back I've missed it Arson 
Perhaps you can help us now that we've helped you. I certainly can. What is it that you need? We have come to this area searching for an individual wearing a band similar to, and I gestured to Fig. I'll point to the armband, but in silver, right? Am I mixing up the colors? No, I got the gold one. I'm looking for silver. Yes. Interesting. May I see? Sure. I'll take it off and I'll hand it over. Fine, metal quick. Um. Oh no, what's the name? I can't say I've seen this design before. It is definitely... I'm no uh, jeweler or metal worker. That's not something that has been uh, my skill set. Though I do believe this may be of some sort of elven make. Um, of my kin, but definitely not of my direct uh, lineage. Uh, I can't say I've seen anyone else with anything similar. Mm. Well, what is we... so important about the person that wears the other one? Is he hands it back? Can I'll I put it back on. It? Yes, you actually gave this to me before you left. Really? Yes, you. It's been found a long it time. When, when you and I uh, checked out that old warehouse in Osgiliath before we wow. ran away, it was the same time you found that other weapon or something. Yeah, the uh, first bit of elven magic I had in my possession for a while. I've gotten a few more since then, thankfully. <laughs> the um, armband is called Talparian, I found out. And it, it tugs to its partner. The partner is in silver, while this one is gold and they represent uh, trees in the elven home of Valinor, I believe is called. Yeah, Lock, you, in you instantly recognize the name Telperion. No, I did this again. The partner is Talparian. The one I have is Laurelin. Because the way my notes are, I have it mixed up, and I told myself to not mix it up, and I still did it. I was gonna say, do I need to pull out the, the handout? No. No. I have it! I'm a good note taker! That's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust trust but verify. <laughs> as that is my information security way. Well, yes. The gold tree right represents Larlin. Yes. Okay. Regardless, Locke, you recognize both names. Yeah. Um, do I know the significance of this particular piece? The significance, um... Go ahead... Let me look at something real quick where is where are things there are things go ahead and give me an intelligence check and you can add your proficiency oh yeah this big as, brain time as you're... Uh, just... oh, oh, yeah, actually, just like actually history or traditions or actually you I think you have an artificer ability about assessing treasure i do you should evaluate treasure recognize that's the reason secret symbols employed by the artificers of old to mark their work oh but that's uh when you discover a horde during an adventuring phase you may treat the horde rating as being one more than normal so uh what do you want that's me to read for the ones yeah no that that that's a mechanical thing go ahead and still <laughs> roll the the intelligence as you're inspecting someone else's work and trying to find what purpose it may have held. I'm going to roll um, it as traditions for my own laziness because it's 
I'm proficient you can, in it, so it's the You same can thing. do it at, at at advantage because of your ability to evaluate and recognize things, yeah. Got it. 22. 22. Um, you, you quickly uh, discover the the enchantment that is on there and it's a fairly um innocent uh, enchantment uh that it's it's meant to to find its partner um the the understanding that this one is supposed to when worn uh is supposed to guide the wearer to the partner assuming that it is also being worn so the 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 artificer that created this uh, probably had either some some grand idea with it once they have both found each other, or it was on some romanticism level that when two individuals had either uh, partner, that they would always find their way back to each other. Oh, romantic. I'm not crying, shut other. up. <laughs> the other thing you know uh, that I'm going to whisper to you, and you can choose to <gasps> do what you will with that information. Ah. Oh, coaster, no. Coaster, Sorry. yes. No, my I lifted my drink, and the coaster was stuck because of the condensation, so I panicked because it fell. <laughs> so, uh, Vig. Mm. Remember the vampire yes. that we ran into before I left all of you, correct? Uh, yeah, uh, when did you last see her? Was that Osgiliath oh. at the wall? Yes, her name I'm is... Ho was. I'm holding up, sorry. Her was. name was. She's dead. Her name was Tano, yes. We ended up... Oh, he's reading. I'll wait. <laughs> She uh, she gave her she gave her life helping us of all things, which is which is very interesting. But I don't know how much was it was to help us versus revenge for herself. Uh well. Sorry. This is this has been long enough that my brain's not quite. Take your time. You're good. You're good. That's, that's, you're good. that's why I stopped you're saying good. anything because I knew you were reading. <laughs> Pause the roleplay. <laughs> uh, while he's uh, while he's going through his notes, Arison, I have something else you might be interested in, though. I w recovered yes. this map that shows three locations. Um, that I assume are bases, um, that the Wayne Riders and the, uh, Easterlings are using, and where they're sending people they kidnap. And I show them the map. Hmm. Do you know the significance of these markings? Where they... Wait, sorry. I'm assuming things now. My bad. Uh, so when you picked up the map, there were sort of wooden placements or tokens where those marks were. Did you happen to mark the map yourself where those were, or is it just the map of the region now? Um. Or are you going off of memory where those were? <clears throat> Sorry. Well, <laughs> the, th the thing is, I, it, it, I didn't say I did it in the moment, although I would have liked to have done That's it in fine. the moment. Um, okay. so if you would have let me do it in the moment, then that's the way we could play it. But if you don't want, if you want me to try to do no, it from memory, that works too. That's fine. Either way, it's more or less what would Malvor, what would Malvor do? Either way, I'm not going to make you make a check if it's from memory. Uh, I'm just curious narratively. Um, I know the beginning of this, we were trying to rush along so we didn't yeah. have uh, a, a yeah. beloved PC waiting in the wings forever in a year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, so uh, probably on the map, I probably drew uh, just like uh, a rough image of what the tokens look like where they were. Okay. <sighs> Interesting. Do we know the significance? Other than perhaps just a concentration of, of forces, or...? No, I, I, I don't know what the significance of each symbol is. 
Um, there wasn't a lot of information, a lot of notes for me to collect that really, you know, there wasn't a legend. That's fair. My... At the bare minimum, this is extremely valuable, because if it gives us any indication where the enemy is, uh, we know better how to prepare and or counteract them. Though to dive more into this, uh, I suggest you take this to Mithil and have her take a look. She's going to know a bit more about how to move forward with this information. And uh, where is uh, this Nithil? Yes, Nithil. Uh, she is south of here. Uh, Locke can show you the way. Uh, I was more than willing once you returned to uh, draw you a map and take you there myself, but Locke has been there many times. That it's, is... It's where the more concentrated uh, population of Avari are currently located. That is where the armband is tugging to. Southeast. Interesting. So we're gonna take everything that I said. Didn't happen because I misunderstood what was initially being said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just push it over there. <laughs> Start <Exactly>. over. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I originally thought he you're was fine. Saying, like my one <laughs> run in with the vampires with you guys right before. So. Yeah. It's anyway. not like we didn't keep playing for like a solid. I don't know. With all new yeah. information for you to absorb. <laughs> So, it's interesting that you have that particular armband because I believe I've actually seen its mate. What? Who? Who? Uh, where we were heading. Good to be able to run into them, I believe. Uh, we, me and the companion I'd been traveling with, uh, stumbled across a girl that. That's one of the absolute distinguishing features we had noticed, was this silver armband that looked very similar to this, so if that's the direction it's pulling in, then this may be your person. Ken, do you have a, a name, or can you describe him? Is it's... this, uh, is this the named woman in the notes you gave me? No. Okay, different person. Um, or you don't, no, will, you don't have say, to tell me. I will say that no, you did not get their name uh, at the time because when they were found, they were unconscious. Right. Um, and since then, you went your separate ways uh, and currently don't know the their their status or who they are or what more beyond of the the general knowledge of who they might be arison <clears throat> i have oh, a question uh, who they... oh sorry sorry yeah. Locke. i didn't realize you were uh, we're gonna have to figure out how this works now that we're back together again <laughs> it's simple you shut up and die and then everything ends <laughs> oh. god damn <laughs> Wow! Dude. For all of my wounds, I have ne never I just, suffered one so grievous. Up, at least that's so funny. <laughs> I have Long never suffered. D six for me, please. I have never suffered such a grievous wound in in many moons. Who's rolling a D six? Oh, uh, you only, you only take one from dis from uh, vicious mockery. <laughs> you take one psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, but it's funny. Yes. <laughs> You have to understand, I've been able to have just my own company, for the most part, and I've been able to actually think. Ah, we can't have that. Around. Who knows what might no, happen if really you start can. thinking too much. I sometimes Best think prisons. these two don't think enough. Yeah, it's more fun when you think less. No, it's not. <laughs> Vig, Vig, you're, I, mean, I assume I you're talking like about Syrian and Malvo, Yes, very much so. Okay, 
Then I agree with you wholeheartedly. I'm <laughs> sorry that you've been the one having to handle all this on your own. Suddenly she Very gives you a, uh, she suddenly gives you this pleading face <laughs> of like, please help. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Lindsay's potentially talking like a player, like as her <laughs> right now, not Fig. <laughs> There's a twinkle in Fig's eyes. It's just like... <laughs> um, but no, Locke, you can continue your thought. I do have a question for Arison, though. Understood. So... And this may be uh, interesting news for you. So... How much have you heard since you've entered the region as to what's been going on around here? Has the I... phrase Shadow of the East come up yet? That was That's just going to be my question. Who we are looking for. I was going to wait to bring that up also. Well, this uh, woman who I was speaking of that has your matching band may or may not be her. Uh, they're, they're male. It was, a, it was a male. Oh, it was a male? Sorry. Yeah. I don't know why I thought you said it was a woman. I apologize. We covered a lot of stuff in like an hour <laughs> to get me prepped. No, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> the... He... So yeah, he then. He was the one that had the matching band. Uh, one I of knew my it. companions. I knew it. I knew it. The shadow one of, of the east. One of my companions that lit with us was taking him uh, to the Avari back in the mountains. So. There's a chance we run into them. Oh yeah, the we also shadow. didn't. Like it's unhelpful. I actually have a question for you, Locke. I no longer have a question for Irison because you answered that, Locke. But I have a question for you now, Locke. <laughs> All right. Be a service. Uh, <laughs> do you know uh, of the uh, Silmarils? <laughs> I'm not even gonna make you make a check. <laughs> yes, very much so. Well, um, the mouth of Sauron is searching for one down uh, in. Um, there's a pirate city, Umbar. Mord is in Umbar near here? Mordu may not be an Umbar, but he has people searching an Umbar for a Cimmeril. Mordu seems to have two plans going at once. The first of which, something going on here in the east with the building of a temple and the preparation for a great sacrifice. And the second is locating a Cimmeril in the south. Yes, and we are here too try to seek more help against him, starting with the Avari here and the Shadow of the East, since we learned that the Shadow of the East was more allied with the vampires who have been weakened and um, mistreated by Mordu. Um, also, Mordu is uh, Rattle. They are the one, one and the same. We, he, he's been playing us from the start. And what did you do about that when you learned it? Um, he nearly killed me. <laughs> and left me for dead in the middle of the road. I'm going to have to send him flowers. Understood. And he said if I continued, he said if I continued interfering with his plans, he would kill Goldwyn uh, and uh, Merwin, and then uh, probably me as well, for good measure. Well, we can't afford to lose your daughter and wife to be. You I could do without, but better in a sense. I couldn't agree more. Oh, good, so you're not denying it now. You've at least <laughs> come into yourself. Yeah, I've and really grown into, in you know, your, your perception of me. It's very fitting. Like a well-tailored suit. Not so well-tailored from where I'm standing. But... 
<laughs> I digress. Uh, so yes, we... My companion should be taking this vampire that we are suspecting to be the Shadow of the East now. And he has the armband. He has a silver armband that matches. I didn't take a long enough look at it to know if it was enchanted or not, but it seems a logical path at this point. Something that this group has been terribly without from the sounds of it lately. Wee. Are you sure he's a vampire? Barely certain on that one. Did he, uh, did he bite you? Interject. If I yes. inter interject uh, briefly, you said you were here to find allies uh, among the Avari and potentially this Shadow of the East. I do not know your your full intentions, though you have done well by me and my people here, and I am trusting you with Locke to, to go to Nithil and meet the rest of the Avari. My people have been fighting this silent war for <clears throat> centuries, if not much longer. This shadow of the East is caused immense damage in the recent years. From my understanding in recent history, and probably over the last few months, their behavior has changed. Yeah. They have begun uh, being more erratic, and not necessarily just attacking us, but uh, attacking uh, Wayne Riders, Easterlings, even Orcs. That's probably our fault when we killed the mm. uh, the ancient vampire spirit that was indirectly controlling him. That sounds like a tale for the ages, but I'm going to leave you with this warning. They are currently erratic and unpredictable. I do not know what my uh, companions may have discovered with returning him to the mountains. And I can only assume that he was brought there under very wise counsel as he looks over towards you, Locke. You'd be correct in assuming that. Tread carefully and do not trust the hope. It has forsaken these lands. Fig just crosses her arms and looks down. Are you ever going to grow beyond this gloom and doom? Me. No. Arson. Oh. <sighs> For as long as we lived, and we are the... Some of the few who do not have the light in the eyes as the rest of our kin, so... We have been branded the, the dark elves, the, the, the unwilling. Sometimes it's good to lean into that reputation. You know, I can't actually blame you for that. But please, do not take my word uh, to full heart. It is merely just a warning and a request that you be careful. If you truly wish to, to help my people and us to help you, then we have aligned goals. Hmm. Well, all right then. Let us uh, start heading to Nathiel, unless Malvo has a thousand more questions that will accomplish nothing. No, no, I've asked all my questions. I just, uh, I'm ready to uh, burn down a, a temple. And see, that right there is all the... All you need to have faith in the world is that he can be silenced. <laughs> there is hope yet. Well, with that, my friends, you're more than welcome to stay here and recuperate if you need to. But if you're eager to depart uh, as soon as you can, uh, I would uh, have two of my own to accompany you at least to the mountain, the base of the mountains. And from there, you can 
follow the trails upon Locke's uh, direction. Is this a long rest recuperate? <laughs> Mechanically speaking, you can uh, take <laughs> one here if you wish to spend the night. You can take one once, uh, but if you want to do it multiple times here, you're going to have to do a fellowship phase and actually open it as a sanctuary. <laughs> So I'll leave it up to you. You can either, you know, break here and spend a few days here into the fellowship phase and hold it and open the whole thing, or you can take your one and only long rest now and see where it gets you. I, I, I didn't imagine. I didn't think that we could take just a couple of days of a fellowship phase and all of us just turn this into a sanctuary. Um, I'm it's pretty a sure. Relatively small village, and you're already on pretty good terms with the pseudo leader of the of the group and you've just saved a bunch of their people so they they might not put up as much of a fight as you think unless you, you guys again. yeah um unless you guys used it on the stream that i wasn't here for um i'm pretty sure we all still have a long rest capability in our inventory yes we do i'm going to never use that if i can help it i know right <laughs> <laughs> I keep staring at it every time, and I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> "That is going." <laughs> no, we save that until we go into yep. the final boss fight, and then we just, we just scarf it down, get a long rest right before the final Mordu, boss fight. Mordu, Mordu does his BBEG monologue, and we're just eating <laughs> oh, his sweet cake. <laughs> Look, I say, I say, oh, we keep do going, a. Keep going. You're fine, you're fine. I'm letting you finish, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, what stuff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm imagining I say we this, do a, I love it. I, I say we do a fellowship phase. I'm fine I, with that. I would prefer just the long rest overnight. I'd like to... Go south sooner. We we could always do we could always come back through here and do a fellowship phase later as well. It's not like we have to do it now or never again. If you say so, figure now while we're here, we're all kind of beat up. I don't know what I, you're talking about. I feel great. Yeah, lock looks I don't... perfect. Yeah, you're a beautiful princess. Um, I say we take our fellowship phase here. I just if... don't know if we have a few days. Okay, one to one, Malvor. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna side with Fig because she side she sided with me and helped Goldwyn out. So I'm gonna help her out here. <laughs> I can understand I her position. Shut, I... I will show myself to my quarters to go fuck myself. No, I'm kidding. Um, we're still getting a long rest tonight, so yeah, don't feel I mean, bad. Yeah, we're still getting, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm just thinking, like, long term, too. It's like, we're here. Yeah, like, I get it. In case we need it again, but yeah. All right. Long rest it is. Maybe right. when we return from the south, we can do that. All right, so... You guys arrived uh, fairly late in the afternoon, so you, you take... Uh, some time, Arison, uh provides you better accommodations this time around as the, the village itself is uh, a bit more welcoming. There's no proper inn, uh, but there are a few uh, farmhouses that are much bigger uh, and more space uh, that are willing to put you up for the night um, based on what you've done for, for everyone. Uh, so as you all you know, do whatever you want to do over the course of uh, the next long rest, uh, this is where we're going to go ahead and take a break. I just smashed my finger. It hurt. <laughs> Wait. Uh, it says video. Hard being a ruler, but it is good to own land. Oh, I'm a bear, I'm a bear, I'm a bear, I'm a bear. I'm a bear, I'm a bear, I'm a bear, I'm a bear.
I'm a bear. Pack. We need right. to leave. I'm a bear, I'm a bear, I'm a bear. Look at me bearing around. Burn! And latch on to you, you take five shadow damage. This is not the hug I wanted. Alright, let's make attacks at him. Roll them dice. You missed my birthday, bitch! Be alright, Heidi. Everything. Goethe, I have a couple of questions. Yes, I... Dirty little mouth, Goethe. You've said enough already. Uh... Probably go up on sale tomorrow. <gasps> a donut! I got it. I lost it. I dropped my donut. Who's that? Now where do they keep Mapsies? <gasps> the gods. Oh, come on! Oh, well, guess I'll just kill myself. Talks amongst yourselves. Yeah, so I think... Are we there yet? I think that way might work. Are we there yet? Kevin, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have us talk amongst ourselves then. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> it's a role-playing game! <laughs> Someone get me a bird! Someone go on a hunt and get me a bird! Someone get me a bird. Your Majesty, the acclaimed playwright. Hello? My queen, a gift from the, the <gasps> Southlands. That's a bird! You're welcome, my lady. Just know what house gave that to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Chat is screaming at you now. Wow! Said the thespian. Me. Me! <laughs> oh no! In Lindsayisms. Audience, man. <laughs> Chat, man. <laughs> oh god. I think you've lost it. <laughs> I need to stop doing things on stream. <laughs> Adventure. Now let's take a moment here and listen in to the teams mic'd up. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. Fuck you! Yay! We're gonna get a quest from Win. What kind of? Shady stuff is he involved with? <laughs> the fangs of smog. In my younger years, I was a master assassin. <laughs> I have made lots of enemies. <laughs> Alright, this is a send it one. Yep, it's a send it, but it's all about timing and finesse. Ah! Not like that, you f fuck! <laughs> Don't you dare, you son of a bitch! Why? Why? Why do you do this to me? Why do you hate me? Why do you hate me? I'm just trying to jump to the fucking. I'm just trying to. I just wanna. I just wanna get up. I just wanna get up to the. Just let me get to the ledge. Just fucking let me get to the ledge. I swear to fucking God. Just let me get to the goddamn. Thank you! God! Talking about that earlier. I found the code! Well, I wanna see where it's hidden. It was behind the gate. Like we suspected all along. Let me know when you're ready. Ready. Uh, flying duck. Duck. Flying duck. Duck. Flying duck. Duck. Baked potato. Baked potato. Baked potato. Baked potato. <laughs> Taking a break. Duck. There's a pause button, you know. Duck. Just uh, took a bit yes, of Those are all of the clues the I would have used, which is why I got really <laughs> excited. She claims that she is of a particular tribe of hobbits. What is that tribe? Crap. <laughs> oh, man, it's on the tip of my tongue. I really gotta start taking notes. I think Brian's doing this. Yeah. Start, start making me take notes like this motherfucker. You know what? The green tribe. <laughs> Incorrect. In that written yep. down. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll start taking more notes. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Just like that. Health back. Go back. How is everyone? I'm doing. <gasps> Why are they back? You hear something. Thank God I am half in the tank. <laughs> Can you read it? Yes. All right, hit It'll me. More than this to okay, I'm gonna do my best to scribe these. These are hard. Okay. 
especially because I'm a little tipsy. Um, so the first symbol is a blob with no hat. Does that make sense? Apparently yeah. not. And hmm, just a common tax for the patricians. Sai, no, it's poison. <laughs> There's poison, you say? <laughs> Take a look at this map. What a better look. Oh, look at that. Can I jump into this? Gravity take over, but there's that. Um, what the hell do I do? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I feel like uh, maybe I shouldn't, but. Uh, no. <laughs> Every time I, every time I use my inspiration, it goes down by one. We I'm need gonna, a rest in peace. I'm gonna, right I'm gonna stop using my inspiration. Oh, you're asleep on the job. Oh, you fool. You absolute fool. Poor fellow. Well, it'd be really unfortunate if he wakes up. Oh, uh-huh. Shit. Happening. Shit. He's awake. He's awake. He's awake. He's awake. Ah. Fuck you. Go back to sleep. Fill out into fur as her whole form begins to shift slowly into one massive adult brown bear. Oh. Rise, Figdis Erendil, Bjorn's daughter. And bear the name of your father, Bjorn, as you are now the matriarch of your kin, <laughs> the protectors of the forest, and those that will resent, that will hold this land across that. From this moment on, your people will be known as the Bjornings. Oh, oh shit! Oh, no. I'm a bear! <laughs> I shall stand with you. Shit, you're on your own. <laughs>
For inquiries regarding my research, adventuring days, my latest publication, speaking opportunities, private lessons, book club, and knitting circle, please forward your sending spell to the office of Sir Benjamin O'Toole of the Waterdeep University and Arcane Institute. The O'Toole conservation name, logo, and image are all protected licensure and owned by O'Toole Philanthropy. Use of this without the express written consent of Sir Benjamin O'Toole could result in legal action, a failed death save, a gentleman's acknowledgement of a worthy adversary for being a fox, and or loss of consortium. Side effects of druidic magic can include uncontrollable mind growth, a sudden fascination of fungi, inability to revert from wild shape, body odor, an acquired taste for good berries, splinters, tanking for the party, depression, and or becoming one with the elements. The O'Toole conservation is not responsible for anyone being maimed, eaten, killed, or disfigured by anyone attempting to approach owlbears. Please do not contact our officers with liability claims. We will cast silence. We mean it. Casting speaking with animals within our facilities is strictly prohibited except by authorized personnel. We will take legal action. Welcome back. Booyah. Couple of housekeeping items before we get Happy back birthday, into Happy birthday, Brian! It. Happy birthday, DM. Item, you know it's what, Brian? You can take game. inspiration because it's your birthday. Golly gee, really? <laughs> 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 yeah! <laughs> uh, happy, happy birthday for all of us to you. We wish you a happy birthday and I don't remember the rest. Beautiful too. I just, it just makes awesome. me think of Emperor's New Groove every time that scene at the <laughs> in the uh, restaurant where they yeah shove Yeez, uh, uh, a sombrero on Yizma. It's fun. Yes. All right. <laughs> I've never seen that movie. First. Uh, number one. Congratulations, Matthew. congratulations, Imki, for our subscriber winner of uh, the month of September. Uh, we hope you enjoy uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. <laughs> Uh, and we hope you enjoy being chaotic greats because you're chaotic great in our book. And thank you for supporting us. Uh, number two. Uh, fuck, what was number two? Threw me off my groove. Battle Bards. Oh, Battle Bards. See, Kevin got it. Kevin takes inspiration. Woo! <laughs> uh, Battle Bards. Uh, if you haven't heard, if you're new here, because if you're not new here, you're probably well versed in what Battle Bards is, but regardless, uh, the music you're hearing now and all the soundscapes that you hear throughout our sessions uh, is courtesy of Battle Bards. So if you want to bring the immersion in soundscapes to that next level for your 
tabletop RPG, whether it's in person, virtual like this, go ahead and get yourself a Battle Parts Prime subscription and you can get access to a soundboard and a mixer and upload your own music and sounds if that's something you're into. And you can go through their entire library of things and mix and match and play all sorts of stuff uh, from spooky dungeons to uh, creepy Call of Cthulhu rituals or, you know, have a werebear transformation on uh, speed dial. Uh, <laughs> and of course, on top of all that, you get discounts in store if you're going to make any purchases so you can download and use them wherever you want. Uh, go get yourself a Battle Bard subscription and uh, <laughs> tell, us, tell, tell them we sent you. I'm logging in right now! I don't know how you tell them we sent you, but find a way. Just do it. Just, just tweet at them or something. Just say, hey, Send Radagast it. sends his regards. I don't know. Ooh, that might get you a different a different <laughs> response. Um. Uh, uh. Yeah. And number three, this Saturday at. Wait, did you just remind me of the thing I was already doing? Yes, but because I wanted to try to get inspiration, but I also wanted to make sure you mentioned it. And now you're fishing. <laughs> This Saturday uh, at 7 p.m. Uh, in our Discord, I will be in the stage channel, something we have not used at all, but we have it. Um, throughout the month of October, I will be doing some, uh, you know, some book corners and some story time uh, to get us into the, the spoopy mood. Uh, and I will be reading, uh, I will be reading uh, the book Chasing Shadows Genesis, uh, which uh, I had the absolute pleasure to do uh, for the, the audiobook uh, earlier this year. So it is out now on Audible, uh, but you can swing by over this month in our Discord and get a live reading of it from me. I'm so stoked. It's a good story, guys. I enjoyed it. It's so good. I think I finished it in like three days. <laughs> yup. And the, and the sequel of the book comes out this month too! Next week. Das. Yeah. So Brian, not as an audiobook yet. One, two. Uh, I can confirm or deny nothing. Perfectly fine. <laughs> NDAs be NDAs, homie. <laughs> so uh, you can look forward to that. Uh, since it's going to be the stage channel, uh, you're only going to hear me, so you don't have to, you know, worry about being uh, social. If you won't, don't want to do that, you can just sit that sit back and listen to a story be told to you from my dulcet tones. I'm probably going to do it from my booth, so uh, give it a little extra oomph behind it. But that's all I have. I'll have some whiskey ready. Tell ya. Literally sticking Brian right. in the box. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> small box. I don't like it. You don't. Yeah, no, you don't. I had. To I don't do like the box. Reading for an audition and I recorded you Instant and absolutely hated it. Claustrophobia. <laughs> it's not that bad in there. It's not like you can't no. escape. It's easy no. to escape. It's not tight, walls. Tight places me make me feel cozy. No. Are you a cat? Liz has asked me be that right. before. <laughs> all right. I believe that is all of our announcing means uh, for now. So let's get back into it all right with the lot of you uh reunited for the very first time and it feels so good uh before you turn in for the night and uh you know get the the full uh gambit of uh a long rest does anybody have anything they want to do or accomplish or uh take care of uh while they're in the village for now nope Nothing. Um, is there a fire going somewhere outside, like in the town or whatever? You're gonna burn the to town that? down? No. <laughs> um, there, there's one that is inside of the the hall uh, that Arasan is. Beyond that, you're more than welcome to like, you know, there's a few like areas for fire pits but they're not currently lit um oh. as it gets closer to the night um i'm sure they will they will become lit af um <laughs> okay i wanted to sit at a fire at one point in the evening if one was going to be lit okay 
I'll say, yeah, as it gets as it gets darker, um, there's a few pop-up fires that uh, start. And then um, I will kind of sit. Um, I'll sit there and, and chill by the fire and kind of stare at it into a good long while. Um, and I'm also going to take off the um, the armband at some point and kind of slowly twirl it uh, in my fingers for a time and I'll stare between uh, that and the fire right now. Okay. I don't know if anyone else is doing anything. Um, I'm actually, I remembered something I said is I'm gonna head, is there somewhere I can get like wine or where like people go to like have a drink or something? So there's no uh, tavern uh, in this village. Um, there's no inn. It's it's really small and it's mostly like keeps to itself sort of thing. Uh, that being said, there it's a vineyard, so people have wine. Uh, I'm sure the uh, farmstead that you're you're being put up in for the night uh, has a uh, a cask readily available. Well, I was looking to see if there would be, like, somewhere we can gather, because I told um, Colin when I met them, I was like, you know, first round's on me when we get back, so wasn't sure what that entailed, but there's really nowhere, like, the people gather to have, like, a drink or something. Not so much in, like, a social uh, manner, because, again, there's no, there's no tavern uh, here. Uh, for any sort of like uh, gathering of village of the village it would take place uh, in the hall where you met Arison. Uh and this would typically be um, uh, any sort of uh, feasts or, or, or dining uh, that sort of comes together as the village sort of you know take care of their own uh, and okay. that, that does happen uh, there are people in there now uh, but it's not like the entirety of the village okay um yeah, in that case, uh, I won't be doing anything. Um, yeah, uh, I'm just sleeping. Okay. Fig, you sit there, uh, feeling the, the, the warmth coming off the fire as the yellow and orange light sort of dance around your face and as you hold up uh the armband uh, it casts a, a shadow that if anyone were to walk by they see almost like this tree like design uh get shadowed onto your face as you hold it around oh, and the gold where her scars uh, are <laughs> yeah the gold um glimmers off and sort of sends uh sort of light rays against uh, a few of the the buildings and walls around I think while I keep staring at that in the fire, at one point I will do such a distant stare at the fire and kind of go completely like lost in the present moment. Um, and I think I'll have that activate the meditation feature that I have. Okay. But I'm trying to confirm what question I want to ask. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> um, Every time you want to use this ability, you don't know what to do with it. <laughs> it's so... Because I just knew or had an idea of what I wanted to do, and then I started reading the feature to confirm I can ask it, and now I don't know. <laughs> um... And okay. uh, let me see here. Question, problem, location, or individual. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, and it's funny because a part of me was also like, I don't know if Fig will really ask these questions, but you know what? I think she just will. Can I message them to you Ooh, secret, secret. sure i can also definitely have people deafen up if you choose if this is a whisper oh that might video. that might be easier actually I've, everyone except matt of course but yeah i'll just take <laughs> off my headset 
<laughs> cool. Oh boy. Um, so I think just based on everything she's heard, the first question she just keeps kind of really, really, really mulling over is, is it really him? Is he, is he the, uh -huh. um, yeah, I'll leave it as that. Okay. I think with full knowing what she's asking. So your, your first question is, is it him? Yeah, the, the individual that, um... Locke mentioned with the armband. Okay. Go ahead and, you know, make your make your meditation check for me, please, first. Oh, right. Oh. What did you roll? A nat 20. Natural 20, a total of 23. Okay. Oh, boy. So as oh you boy. slowly, you know, close your eyes and focus in gripping this, this armband, the, the sounds of nature slowly begin to, to drown out. The, the crickets uh, begin to sort of disappear uh, from, from your mind. Uh, the wind subsides. The fire initially is all, all that remains uh, until you take a few more breaths and, and it too uh, fades from your mind. Your first question of, is it him? Is the person that Locke's company came across the individual that you were told about by Tonel? if I am interpreting your question correctly? Yes, and the certain individual that, you know, is just dear to heart. You, you focus in on this this thought this question and you are brought to an image in your mind of what they were the last you you saw them you see uh, a length of uh, blonde uh, silk hair going down to sort of at the mid of the back uh, draped in sort of uh, dark forest greens and these these blue eyes that you would sort of get lost in. They bear the uh, the and how you got lost in them is is sort of up to you and how what that means to you, but they were definitely the eyes of uh, a close companion, a close friend. And you just focus in on this as you see the warm smile from your friend as the you see the image sort of shift from, from that as in like a sort of like a moving uh, memory of you know, striding through the forest and, you know, having having fun. Being the kids that you were, though the concept of that between the species is, you know, lost on most. And you're brought back to this sense of this, this calm, this, this warmth, this familiarization, and you see his, his face again. This light, this light, pale skin and, and deep blue eyes, and they just sort of almost feel like they're staring back at you in this vision. And then in a beat, in a moment, the image quickly shifts that if you were to blink, you would have missed it, but you see the skin quickly change to almost a, a yellow, yellowish tint in hue. The the ears almost somewhat elongated more than normal. The hair stained to almost like a silver with still hints of the blonde in there. But what gets you the most is the eyes. The deep red hue replacing that blue. But as quickly as that comes, it is immediately replaced back with the vision of what you once knew. 
the vision you remember of Galad. Um, at all of that, uh, with, with one arm, um, she'll almost blink out of it for a second at that, um, and then she'll kind of use her forearm to rub against her, her face a little, give a sniff, and she'll then with that same free arm just gently grip at her, uh, bear necklace and under her breath, she'll just mutter his... Can... Is he saved? Can he be saved? Can I get him back? And I guess her intent behind that muttering is, is just wondering if she can get him to come back to her or come home. You focus in on this this image of him and you feel the, the warmth of the fire on you as you sort of grip, almost not to put words in in Fig's mind or action, so if you yeah. agree with this, absolutely say so. But I I she grips onto this this armband almost unknowingly white knuckling it in a in a tense concentration. Yeah that sounds right. Then then you feel a different warmth different from that of a fire more close to a touch and you specifically feel it around your one hand as you swear you feel the physical sensation of something working its way in between your hand and the band itself and you in your mind just feeling it out you swear you feel the clasp of another hand around it I am going to just cherish that moment quietly to myself, the warmth that I feel, for as long as I can. And with that, um, after a long time that she'll, she will break her meditation. Okay. You... And that will be if since I'm assuming no one else is doing anything. Um but if if once it becomes the time to try to go to to go to bed, she'll finally remove herself from the fire. Um and she will find a spot. No. You know what? Um He's. You said there was like an inn or something, or like a makeshift of sorts or there, whatever, there a space is, to there sleep. Is, there is no inn. There is no tavern. Uh, people do tend to congregate in the hall where you've met Arison, but for the most part, for your for your spots to sleep for the night, uh, there are, are two uh, farmsteads that were putting you up for the night to be in okay. some someone's someone's home and in a in a warm bed for the night. Gotcha. She's she's actually going to respectfully decline, and she's going to find the. Uh, I don't know if there's like woods nearest by or something, a few patch of trees or something, but she's going to find a space that most closely resembles to her home, and she's going to sleep under the trees and stars instead for the night. Okay. I'm. Gonna and I'm yeah I'm good. All right, I'll let everyone know that they can come back. <laughs> N 
Nick's like super scared. <laughs> like, I'm not like, sure what Lindsay's doing, so is What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> I just saw the thumbs and then like everyone stopped like, okay, I'm assuming it's done. Yeah, yeah, no, you're uh, I was waiting for someone in chat to just text out, hey, you can come back. Uh, I was about to if you didn't like put your headset on like 15 seconds. <laughs> Okie dokie. I have so much stuff um, on my screen that everyone's cameras are like, this big. <laughs> That's fair. It's why you just need the ultra wide and two obnoxiously large side monitors like I do. Yeah, that's my dream <laughs> setup, but I don't got that. <laughs> In time. Maybe for your birthday. <laughs> I don't got the money. <laughs> well, don't with we that, all? Um, everyone turns in for the night in their respective uh, places. Uh, and you can go ahead, if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and take your long rest. Yay! Oh, I don't have to cross it off because now I just get it back. <laughs> da, da, da. Look at that. Do it again, right e away. Efficiency, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. No, 101 hit points, not 10. Do I it right. I still can't believe you are at 101 hit that's, points. That's fucking bonkers, dude. That's... Oh my god. I'm a pretty proud tank right now. <laughs> I'm just I'm just a glass cannon, I guess. It's, I know. I think you I've have less hit points cannons. than... You're not there yet. <laughs> no. What, you have 59 hit points, Syrian? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My hit Ooh. dice rolls when I level up has been terrible. Yeah. I mean, I'm bringing so in the I... bottom of the pack with 55, but I am the squishy. I do have the smallest hit die, I think. It's an old war injury that prevents me from leveling up further. Or... Getting more hit points. It's okay, I got you, buddy. I'm at 70. <laughs> hey oh. As a rogue. Jesus. Jesus fuck. <laughs> Context, everyone. They're level eight. <laughs> I'm yeah, level really. eight with 55 hit points. Yeah. I'm level eight with 59. 101. <laughs> you would think two of them are sorcerers. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I picked that from my D D next class? <laughs> you think 55 hit points are bad? You'd be level eight. Oh, just eight you with wait. 20. <laughs> Just you wait. Oh, it gets worse. At least you're not a wizard then, because that's going to be even more of a brutal shock to you. Yeah, <laughs> mage armor will be your friend. Yes, you want mage armor. Mage armor, good. And shield. And shield. <laughs> shield all, the spell, not the item. The best no. You all wake the next morning and go through your various morning routines, whatever that may be, uh, and reconvene uh, as a group at a destination of your choosing. Your horses are where you left them. Uh, I believe uh, Malvort and Siri and yours were technically stabled while you were out uh, with the wagon. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Fig, you stabled yours probably last night, and yeah. yours is also in the stable. I wake up disappointed that Malvort didn't die of old age over the night. Uh, uh. <laughs> Fig's actually <laughs> coming... Fig's actually coming back from a totally different direction from like the wilderness and you're seeing her like kind of pick off like leaves and twigs from her clothing. <laughs> and she does she looks like she did not sleep well. Did you uh Long sleep night? out in the woods, Fig? I did. Okay, you know, whatever's most comfortable for you. Just um a reminder of home. And here I thought me coming back would at least help you rest a little easier, not having to rely on just these two. There is... There has been a lot going on. Fair. And... There is probably something I should tell you, but... I may wait until we arrive to the location that's south first. Understood. You know me, not one to pry into your personal business. Malvo throws his in our face enough to balance it out. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I am ready and fit for travel. Indeed. 
See, yeah, I'm feeling kind better. Of a bit more of a lush. Huh? Since I left. Who? A what? lush. Saying you drink more than when I left it would be a little bit of an understatement. I'm fine. Fine. If anything, I drink less now. Boring. Syrian's been on, like, a quest of therapy. <laughs> Every Stop. time we've taken, like, an extended rest, he's gone to get therapy with a different mentor in the area we're in. I think you know, it's... Can't I, can't I show character development? God damn. I think it's good I think for it's him, fantastic. The, I love it. The, especially the drinking part, because it's poison. Yes, yes, I've heard it all. I don't understand why people do that to their bodies. Hey, sometimes it's safer to drink than water. It dulls the pain. Where is water that horrible? Um, um, do I need to redirect you to the bathhouses in Oskiliath? <laughs> let's go back to Kirithungul, we'll talk. Oh yeah. I forgot about the bathhouse. Shh, don't, <laughs> don't tell Locke that we went to Kirithungul. <laughs> he doesn't need more excuses to call me names. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he still alive? <laughs> because I I'm here. I, I because the my brain around this. Because, because the I am here. Because neither the Valar nor yeah. Morgoth want me. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong side well, of heaven and the righteous side of hell. <laughs> well, I have to say the Valar do have good taste in avoiding you. <laughs> We've met two wizards since you've been gone. Lock two <laughs> wizards. Oh, is that all? Oh yeah. Is that all? Oh, how many were, supposed to, how many were, we, were we supposed to meet? And I am connected with a Valar now. Okay, that one bears explanation. <laughs> yeah, she can she can shape shift into a bear now. Oh, I forgot about that too. She can also I'm become a, a ghost. Bear. She can also become a ghost bear. Bear. The ghost bear part was probably when Locke was still there. He knew, okay. yeah, I think he knew the ghost bear part. I yeah. couldn't remember exactly where the, uh, everything fell. Uh, yeah, because the ghost bear was first used for the prison break, and then it, that was explained afterwards because yeah. the ghost bear okay, was what yeah, broke yeah. apart the the iron bars and whatever. Yeah, so um, it was a spear. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. For the model, but I do still have the spear from that. Yes, yeah. So yeah, she can change into an actual uh... bear now. Then again, I ask, why is he alive? That's a perfect opportunity to just eat him. <laughs> I probably don't Ooh. taste that good. Not I don't eat on his old bones. I protect, not eat him. But he's alive because I am here. <laughs> Yeah, she has saved my life at least twice. Okay, All Might. I was gonna say, I feel like All Might now. I am here! <laughs> That's why I chuckled. <laughs> I just want to hear Fig just go, om nom nom. <laughs> that would be a I good sound know. bite. <laughs> I don't think Lindsay could keep a straight face long enough no. to do it. We'd have to let Brian do a stand in. And even I that might be difficult. <laughs> I'm the I can understudy. try my damnedest. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> I think about doing it and then I just crack up. <laughs> it's like we've known you for years and we know what you can and can't do when it comes to comedy. Om nom nom. Does that work? <laughs> I'll do it again. I'll do it again better. <laughs> okay, anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do... I'll just give a brief... I'll narrate a brief summary that um, uh, Fig met Yavanna, and Yavanna was the whole music and voice that she was following um, from the beginning and whatnot, and, and her, her parents are connected. Oh, yeah, and then she'll break that summary and go like, oh, yeah, they learned that my first parents were bears. And then she'll just keep going with talking to... Yeah, she was raised by bears. <laughs> she 
you raised getting... by bears before the elves? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You're getting like 40 episodes of fig backstory in two minutes. <laughs> You're getting the TLDR version. My earliest memory is in the forest with having bear parents and then my bear parents unfortunately passed and then I continued in the forest by myself until Autothor, my uh I think we call father we call him figure, daddy adoptive father now. No. Yep. Um Matt, uh, never fucking say that again as long as you live. <laughs> 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 um he he No uh <laughs> He discovered me, and then um, him and Northrail, my mother figure. Um, it's also complicated because they're together, but they're not. But that's a different story. Uh, but they raised me with the elves, <laughs> and um, and here I am, roughly. Well, this explains why, through you, Malvo has plot armor, because you're clearly the protagonist of this story. <laughs> no, I just wrote four pages of backstory to Brian, and when I have all these ideas. <laughs> and I'm working with it. <laughs> Go for it. running with it. I, and I, told, I told Brian, yeah, I had a lover that I walked out on to get milk one day and never came back. And let him run with that. <laughs> I told Brian, I tried guarding a, a citadel. Potential bastard of a child. <laughs> I told Brian, I guarded a citadel. Didn't work. Here we are. I didn't even mention the childhood friend she has, so there's that bit too. But there's not too much about him. Ooh, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. I feel like we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. What? I have oh, my. I have my thoughts, but we're gonna wait. I don't want to ruin okay. anything. Speaking of ruining yeah, things, no. um, should we begin our next adventure so I can ruin it? Well, everyone has a job, I guess. Yes, let's go. There, I, th I think you got the gist of everything from our time in Greenwood. Yeah, that was a trip. Someday, someday I'll actually have to speak with you all a bit about my past. Oh, today is not that day. And, um, as, as you said, whenever you are comfortable. The way things are going, it'll become relevant soon enough. Hmm. Relevant is a interesting word to put it. So we go grab the two people that he wants <laughs> to send with us and uh, head about our merry way. Yes, I think uh, now is a good time to do that. We're off. We're off to see uh, if Nathiel. As <laughs> uh sees you all off, um, two of his uh, uh, guards come along with you to at least see you to the base of the mountains. It more of as a gesture of goodwill uh, towards you lot. Um, but for those interested, the those accompanying you, whose names are Lemon and Undamon. Lemon, like lemon. Lemon. If you care at all, some of them, some of them have accent marks, and I'm not typing that out. That's fine. So there's Lemon. You didn't Wasn't do Lemon. Uh, Arasan's assistant. You didn't do lemon and melon. Lemon and melon. Shut up. <laughs> lemon and Undamon. <laughs> <laughs> the French, I'm sure, hate me. It's fine. Um, but they accompany you out um, towards the base of the mountains. And your, your journey is not a long one, uh, but it could be treacherous through the mountains. Um, you do get to the base, and they, they see you off before they, they turn around and, and, and head home. They wish you... Uh, Good luck on your next journey, and if they could ever be of any assistance uh, in the future, to come and find them. Or at least let Erison know. <laughs> um, at this point, uh, Locke, you pretty much know your way uh, through the mountains to the, the Avari uh, sh uh, homestead, for lack of a better term. Uh, so you sort of take over... Um, leading the group and you know sidestepping the the areas you need to 
uh, to get through the mountains properly. Um, if anyone, as you sort of climb through the mountains, as the 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 uh, terrain begins to shift from from uh, a grassland to almost of a somewhat of an alpine uh, mountainside. Uh, there are a handful of trees, but they are sparse for the most part. Mm. And the the mountainside becomes more gravel and, and rock facing, uh, and the vegetation begins to become more sparse. As you get higher uh, in altitude, the the peaks and valleys become a bit uh, more grand as your, your pathing uh, gets to points where you're going uh, almost downhill and then coming back up and into a point of almost single file line at times. Um, you hear the calls of various birds of prey as you get through these regions. Uh, but more importantly, I need uh, whoever would be doing it uh, a perception check. If it's multiple people, that's fine. Go um, for my, it. Percep my perception is pretty good. Oh, Nick raised his hand. <laughs> oh, Nick, raised, I, I, I didn't see it. Nick, go. No, that's that's fine. Do the roll. I said I said multiple people is fine if their character would be doing it. Mm, I want to, but I'll let Nick do it. I'll okay. do I'll do it because I'm look out a lot of times anyway. I've got avoidance now, friends. If I roll lower than a modified nineteen, I get my nineteen. <laughs> hey, just so you know. <laughs> so you roll a natural nineteen on that? No, Syrian rolled it. Okay, no, okay, I see what's oh. going on here. Thirteen, twenty-three, and eighteen. Um, so nineteen you, modified, you... but yeah. Syrian you, wins. You, most of you, this isn't terribly hard to see. Sorry, this fucking gnat's been terrorizing me for three days. Um, uh, nom, you, nom, you, nom, nom. As you move through uh, the mountains, uh, you, over the course of a, a day or so, you get to a, a one point there. It becomes a bit more traversable uh, of sorts. There's still large uh, valleys um, that are just sort of sheer drops uh, down uh, several feet. Uh, but you begin to hear other uh, creatures about. In fact, in one point, you actually hear the howl of a wolf. And your attention gets pulled over to a couple dozen feet away, and you see sort of skulking about this grayish-black wolf that's actually hunkered down uh, but not currently paying any mind to you. It looks like they're either stalking or or trying to intimidate something else that they have their eyes on. Ooh. ooh. Good, because I would just intimidate it back. <laughs> I kind of want to see that work. I would just point at the wolf pauldron and Jen that just raised my eyebrows going, you want to go? <laughs> you... I, need a, I need a matching pauldron. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's terrifying. <laughs> Two wolf and pauldrons, oh no! <laughs> you see it, it's, its mouth, its maw sort of open up and bare its teeth, and you hear the low growl uh, coming from this wolf. But then when you hear following that, is that whatever it's looking at, and sort of out of hidden out of view from you uh, right now, uh, you hear the the barks and yips of two other wolves that sort of echo and bounce off uh, the mountainside. Uh, you're... And then all of a sudden, as a, a bat blast of fire erupts from the immediate vicinity, and you just hear. That's not how it happens. What oh. just happened? Are those the, uh, the 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 dragon the dragonlings? Sounds like it's. Dragonettes. I don't know what else would be spewing fire right now. Then Another we... burst of fire a little bit further off from where it originally was. And then they're we not bothering us. Moving. Yeah, like, they're not bothering us, and I don't feel like fighting one of those things again, so... I'll just kind of like get like a little, like, access to the rain, be like, let's move. And sneeze. Bless you. 
That's oh, actually, I uh, muted myself. I heard. It. I think I heard on Brian's. Yeah. Came through me. Uh, that is actually a valid point from Syrian because I also forgot my own mind. This is extremely difficult terrain for your horses to traverse. In oh. fact, I need riding checks from everybody. No, oh, then we, oh. we just GTFO. Now, if you remember. Yes, riding check. And at this point, it's just going to use. Uh, I'll I'm open for arguments. You can use charisma if you're trying to just calm them and urge them on. Uh, dexterity to guide them and, tra and traverse better. So I'll leave the, the skill base up to, to you all. If you're giving me a chance to use uh, charisma, I will definitely use charisma. You're saying straight dex, correct? Uh, well, oh, not, that's right. I think lock departed. Yeah, I think lock departed before uh uh, Goldwyn became a patron of the fellowship and actually got the whole writing skill background, but I can <clears throat> go through that a separate time right now. Um, Please let him ride with Malvor. No, I mean, he he, he has the ability. I just don't, <laughs> I forgot to go through it and put it on his character sheet. Dang it. Um, gotcha. Yeah, so just go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and burn inspiration. Go there ahead and go. roll a d20 and add your proficiency, and then you can add whatever ability bonus you want. So in this case, you, dexterity, uh, charisma, or if you have an <laughs> argument on how you would, you know, get your horse to, to sort of traverse this I, landscape. I, I, I intelligently really explained to my horse <laughs> that everything's I'm okay. Sure. I'm, I'm good with that. I'll go with the ac I'm just going to roll acrobatics because it matches what you're okay. saying here yeah and the reason we have a riding skill is because it's queried because it's not always the same depending on what you're doing right <clears throat> okay it's just the proficiency and the base attribute oh, of whatever you're using oh so how are you how are you keeping the Can I... wild step i want to use animal handling so like wisdom the no, syria i need a riding skill not uh quick fires ability oh crap sorry what was that fig sorry i was wondering if i could use like wisdom for animal handling so walk me through that how would you um just based just because of like the relationship that i've been growing with uh with wild step that um he and I have gotten to kind of know how each other work a bit better, so I'm just able to use one how I normally try to connect with an <clears throat> excuse me try to connect with animals, but then like extra with actually establishing a connection with um or relationship with with Wild Step to just give me a better uh capability and and knowledge and like street smarts to to work with wild step especially with all of the experiences we've had together already through like dragonets and of the like and the zombies especially the zombies okay yeah go ahead just out of curiosity because i haven't really done this what is what how do we do i don't have inspiration <laughs> so <clears throat> hang on do you, do you guys recall? I know Malvor has it, but you should have a custom riding skill. I that didn't he's created. Is it in the handout? No, it should be in your character sheet. It's not in mine. I don't. S yeah, I'm. I made my own. I was trying to look for it. Yeah, I don't got it. It's just. Okay. It's just because so, gonna... you're all through through your patron. You have proficiency in the riding skill. Uh -huh. So when we go through mounted combat or various things that a horse might have to deal with and you're the rider, you might have to make checks. And this isn't always going to be dexterity. It's not always going to be wisdom. So it might change based on what needs to happen. Sometimes this is going to be, I want to do uh, this type of thing while I'm riding my horse. And that's going to involve a, a, riding, a riding check. Uh, yeah. To either prevent getting fall to knock prone or coerce the horse to actually do what you want, so on and so forth. So you're, it's a new skill, so it's always going to be D20 plus your proficiency. And then whatever uh, 
ability bonus that would come with that, which is going to be scenario dependent. So in this case, Fig, you roll a d20 plus your proficiency plus your wisdom, not animal. Oh. Healing. Oh, then I misunderstood. Okay. Um. Yeah, I just didn't know what that, that all that entailed. So. Uh, okay. Well, I'll for, just leave it as is then. For now, just go ahead and roll like a dexterity check or like a charisma check. Um, or whatever, whatever check you can explain to help guide your horse, and just add three to whatever you roll. Uh, okay, we so all we all have the same proficiency bonus, so I know what your proficiency bonus is. So we can just add that to whatever you roll for your base stat. Damn, so twelve. Three, uh, so twelve. Uh, no. Yeah, twelve. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so. Oh yeah, so I'm eight. Plus three. Yes. I rolled so, a five. Yeah. But so is that I, plus three from animal handling or is that from your I think she has zero it's from wisdom. from my proficiency. Yeah. So you're okay. All well, right, wait. So you... No, because I have, but I have plus three in animal. Oh, that's because of my proficiency. Because so, yeah. of your proficiency. Okay. Yeah. So no, choosing, so this is correct. <laughs> you're choosing wisdom. Okay. Just I want to make it's sure fine. it's clear just, for everybody just, because this yeah. hasn't come up a lot. So you, you're choosing wisdom to use basically animal handle to conf to get wildfire. So D20 yeah. plus three plus zero. Yeah, I and so like I rolled that for animal handling because obviously I misunderstood, but I I understand now. But I'm just gonna roll with this because this is what I decided upon, and we'll just not get further confused. Okay. Um was a relatively low DC, uh, mm -hmm. but Fig mm -hmm. Wild Step is struggling uh, on this terrain. The the war horses are a little bit better. They're still being slowed down, but for the most part, uh, Wild Step uh, sort of requires you to dismount and lead them by the reins to ensure that they safely traverse this ground that's fine that's what i was just about to say next i will happily <clears throat> do so okay all right okay if it, if it helps uh later i can take time uh with you guys and work on your character sheets so you just have a quicker skill to to use and not have to question what you have to roll i i understand it now but whatever you want to do it's whatever's easiest for your character sheets and you know when this comes up <laughs> but uh you you guys have to take a few moments uh, in this uh immediate vicinity as fire keeps erupting like over the hill and there's yelps of wolves uh you as fake has to dismount and sort of egg uh wild step on uh, as they're both a little frightened and uh, having difficulty on the terrain. Uh, but you do get moving again, and as you do round uh, a bit of a, a, a hilltop uh, on the mountain, you can sort of look down and where you were below, and you do see uh, two charred remains of a, of a wolf uh, sort of smoldering in the valley, and one uh, sort of jumping on the back of what appears to be uh, a similar creature to the dragonettes that you fought uh, several days ago. So they are uh, well within uh, the area and roaming the mountainsides. That's cool. I love dragonettes. Cool. I do not feel like fighting these today. Last time we fought them, I didn't take a single point of damage. It was great. Good for you, Maestro. Let's keep moving, please. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you you all press on uh following Locke's lead and you get probably about to the the center area of the mountain range uh almost at the southern tip of the uh, uh sea of rune. And fig for your uh perspective as you're going through this the the armband every day every step seems to be pulsing and twitching more and more and more to the point where where you currently reside you're you're feeling it like every 20 minutes 
We are getting closer and closer to the other armband. That sounds about right, based on what you were telling me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are we far enough away from the dragonets at this point? The ones you saw. Ooh. Okay. Is there something you were going to do? Mm, I didn't want to stop and talk, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. At this point, I assume it's walk and talk unless told otherwise. <laughs> Following Locke's lead, Locke, you, you round a sort of a narrow uh, mountainside that's just wide enough uh, for a horse. Um, you are familiar of this pathway uh, that it is narrow by design to force any uh, potential on-foot adversary into a single file uh, and to cut down on any sort of mounted uh, assault as it has greatly reduced your all of your speeds uh and the horses themselves if they were to make a single misstep would go tumbling off the side of the mountain oh shit i am just gonna stay dismounted from wild step and keep guiding him at this point okay. i'm probably gonna do the same thing for safety's sake okay you Follow this path and round into a larger outcropping uh, uh, of uh, land that uh, opens up into a large uh, cavern-like area that has goes back for uh, 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 several feet, uh, and the light sort of disappears. Um, you all dismount uh, at this point and sort of guide your horses in uh, as you traverse the, the the cave structure inside. Um, and initially your ears sort of adjust to the transition from from uh, nature to the inside of the the echoing sounds uh, of the cave and the dripping uh, uh, of water from the the dampness, and you feel as you follow Locke uh, into this this cave structure that it's a, initially dark. Most of your eyes adjust. Some of you struggle to to see, um, but you do get the sensation that you're you're uh, walking in a, in a downward. Uh, uh, decline you walk on for about uh, 10 minutes hearing the soft echoes of uh, horse hooves uh, across uh, the mountains uh, the interior of the cave and as you round a corner you're met with this soft purplish blue glow that sort of illuminates the cave and sort of opens up into a grander cavernous uh, infrastructure, um, sort of similar to what you felt in seen uh, in the mountains of Greenwood, though not near as uh, oppressing or uh, <laughs> aggressive. As this light sort of illuminates the entirety of the cave, and the first thing you notice is that this light comes mostly from the cave itself, as that there's bits of crystal embedded throughout uh, the the cave walls, and what light is inside is actually being reflected from various uh, torches and sconces that are uh, placed throughout, and it just becomes almost like some of you have to readjust and look at it a few times because it tricks your brain in almost mistaking it for starlight. You continue on and as you open up you begin to notice that that's more to this this cave interior uh, than just the the crystal light as your eyes adjust and you begin to make out the 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 sconces and the lights uh, uh, fires that are lit and scattered throughout and you make out two, six, 
12, a few dozen scattered throughout of humanoid individuals moving about, all bearing the same skin-like complexion of Arison. Uh, some of them donning uh, leather armors and armaments moving about, others uh, working in pestle and mortar uh, in, in various herbs and, and remedies. You hear the clanking of hammer on anvil uh, echoing throughout the caves well in the distance, but loud enough as you hear the, the unmistakable sound of a forge in the, in the distance. You've come across uh, an entire village of Avari, <laughs> of dark elves that have been almost lost to time itself in Middle Earth. That is so cool. Stop. Fig's gonna stop dead in her tracks <clears throat> and kind of grip wild steps reins for a little bit. Are you okay, Fig? No, I think. Now is the time to tell you what you might need to know before anything further happens. Understood. The van pulses. I'm gonna mess with the armband a little bit. Should we come across the shadow of the east here, I need you all to let me deal with him. Him? If you already know who it is. I, I, I did a whole spiel about him earlier. Okay, to make Bob... It's... Well, I should say it's who we assume it is. It's more than... The Shadow of Beast. It's more than that. Um, my fingers are gonna run through the green ribbon at the end of my axe. And, um, you'll see Fig having a little more trouble with her words than usual. Uh, but she'll just go, I have been told and have almost every reason to believe it's Galad. Right. And who was that? I don't think I was. I don't think Locke was around for the revelation of this name. Uh, uh, no, technically none of you were. <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm pretty sure you told us about Galad when we were, when we were I, with the vampires doing that. I arc. told you about Galad being a friend of mine, and we all were able to assume that he became a vampire. Yes. Yeah. Through, but it, I think I think there are several context clues through our vampire arc that pointed me to think Galad might be or have something to do with the Shadow of the East. Yes, because the full reveal was actually when you guys were deafened. Yes. Mm. But there, there were context clues that made me suspicious, but I, I wasn't going to I was gonna wait recluse. for Fig to confirm. I, yes, I seriously just remember his name, Galad, as your companion, your friend. Yeah. So we knew Galad as your friend first. Yeah. But that's why I was saying what I Which said is, is the block was wasn't there for that. that. Yep. Yes, no, he was a <clears throat> childhood friend of mine. We grew up together when I was found by the elves, and then... A bad mom and bad dad. Yes, and then one day he and I accidentally discovered the vampires, got attacked and we escaped, but he apparently chose to go back. And according to Tano, he became what they all now call the Shadow of the East. Okay. And so based upon that, when you say, let you deal with him. Talk first. Okay. Out of sort of the corner of the shadows, you hear a voice sort of bounce off uh, the walls. A a low feminine voice uh, that comes a little bit from behind you, Fig, in this conversation. 
What is all this about the Shadow of the East? But it if, oh, Jesus. <laughs> as, uh, as an Avari uh, sort of comes from the shadows and you see a, a tall uh, elven woman with uh, sharp features in sort of almost dark gray uh, hair uh, in these, these silvery gray eyes that sort of reflect this artificial starlight uh in the in the uh in the cave in a sort of like a dark black uh undergarments with a like a deep purple uh trim she also has a uh, sort of like leather armor uh on on uh on her torso uh in a bit of a uh, chainmail uh, skirt and on her back uh, appear to be two crossed uh swords sheathed as she steps forward when did Jahira make it to the Middle Earth? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That's badass. I actually, actually realize I... There we go. Let me change the spelling on that, because that was wrong. You have been away for some time, Locke. It appears you've brought friends. I have indeed, and I see you still never get tired of traveling with people. Tis Not a... that I have room to talk, of course. It is a pastime. Keep at it, and you might be as good as me someday. <laughs> uh, keep at it, and I might manage to live as long as you. I imagine at that point I'd have a chance. Depending on perspective, the times of uh, I've been alive is both a blessing and a curse. Now, I believe some introductions are in order. My name yes. is Nithir. I am... Um, oh, she's going to start. Apolog okay, sorry. Apologies, Locke. You're in my home. It is my courtesy to introduce <laughs> first. My name is Nithil. I am... How you say? The caretaker. Here. These are my avari. These are my people. You could call Locke a bit of an adopted one. Oh. I will give him the chance to speak on your behalf, you three, for you are unfamiliar to me, and it is not often those of your kind are welcome here. I've, I've heard that a lot in like the past year be surprised well so I can I cannot speak for the bald woman wait sorry That's the point <laughs> I am bald <laughs> Malvo is not Yet. I cannot speak for the old one there we go the other two. this Your room oh. post pulses huh Care. Your armband pulses. Carry on, Locke. Oh. These are former companions of mine. And before I began my journey to come here in the first place, well, this recent return trip, uh, I was surprised to see them yesterday as you are right now. I had no idea they'd be in this area anytime soon, and I have no idea that this one would even still be alive. <laughs> By human turns and his own comic luck, by all rights, he should be dead. Fig is just rubbing the armband and looking around anxiously. Malvol just gives a, a thumbs up. But they are trustworthy companions of mine, and they came here with Arison's blessing. Ah, Arison. Well, I believe Arison's word buys them an introduction and a place to stay. You all look like you've been through some form of hell. They're in back. Um, Sirian kind of gives like the like a yeah, kind of nod. I also bring some information Arisan said might be of interest to you, uh, Nathiel. <laughs> now that is interesting. Strangers at my door that come bearing gifts? Very rarely would I turn that away. Well. 
You're more than welcome to stay, though, if you do anything to harm my people. Betray us in any way. It will be me personally who slits your throat. There's a reason this place has gone undiscovered this long. Correct. Well, I have no intention of doing such, my lady. Though the enemy does appear to be getting close. The fire, as they say, spreads. Now, let Mm. me circle back to the start of this conversation. Why do we speak of the Shadow of the East? Uh, You want to handle this, Vig? The band pulses again. (laughs) We have been searching for him. Searching? With what intention? You would know that he has caused great harm in this region. Yes, and... I... believe I know who he is. A murderer? A vagabond? Our, um, a fallen, a fallen elf of our kind. Our, our long-term goal uh, aligns with yours in some manner. We come to this land seeking to undo the dark works of the mouth of Sauron, Moldu, and the shadow of the east is key to that effort. There may be some truth in what you say. And I suspect that we have much to discuss. That if you truly are here to fight the shadow and whatever whatever has clouded this region in the recent years. You will know that the Shadow of the East is currently in our custody. He is under watch. Locke, the companion you sent back, returns with him. In a fairly poor state, I might add. I would have killed him myself if it was not for the word that that companion of ours returns with. Which brings me to another question. Where is Palando? Palando dictated that we leave him behind. He saw something (sighs) and all but demanded of us and you know as well as I do that if he gets his mind made up about something like that, there's really no winning that argument. They have only been here for a few thousand years, and they think they are wiser beyond anything. I will never understand the way of the wizards. A wizard? Yeah. Is he blue? I, I, I look over at Malvor. Like I said, only two? Is he blue? Well, I mean, this is, this is what, your first wizard? da boo dee da boo da <laughs> You beat me to the top. <laughs> <laughs> He but, certainly introduced himself as a blue wizard if as if his attire did not give it away. Um, then we have met the other one. More entire. I'm sorry? Uh, he goes by another name. Um, oh, shit. That's right. I have it in my notes. Hang on. Um, this was my trivia question last week. Uh, um, Alatar. Yes. Alatar. I am familiar. He left these lands several hundred years ago to head south. Yeah, he brought us here. Oh, that certainly changes my opinion of you. 
We met him in uh, Pelagia, where um, he delivered us from the clutches of Mordu. I think it's safe to say that I may... You can walk with me now out from this area of the cave. Horses are very hard to keep here, though we do have some semblance of a stable. So you come with me, I will get you situated, knowing that you come on the blessing of one of the blue wizards. Like I said, my opinion changes. Whether it is for the better, we will see. Hmm. Yeah, the blues Gee. are quite odd. I've heard tales of an odder one. I know him. I am yeah. sorry for you. We've met him. <laughs> In the green word. <laughs> You very certainly eccentric. have been leading very interesting lives, have you not? It has been very interesting. A little, perhaps some would say a little too interesting. Fleeting in your lifetime, but perhaps it will be written to paper in time. She leads you down as she steps through your your group and gestures you onward and you walk down and she uh sort of points out various aspects of of this village that there are sort of tents and structures built out of the stone itself those of you that might be sort of familiar with dwarven culture and even if you're not for the player's sake it is it almost bears uh, carved from the stone dwarven elements itself um, whether that's actually their innate architectural design or this is just how they've adapted she leads you down to sort of a carved out uh, small stables with a, a, a bale of hay and a, a, and a stable master and she leads you on out down into sort of a wider area where there is this, this this still this still pool of water maybe about 30 40 feet across that just reflects this pseudo starlight across and if you didn't go through probably the absolute hell that you have in the last few months this may be one of the most beautiful sights that you've ever taken in in, in nature over there are a few hovels that you're more than welcome to stay in you're here under Master Locke's blessing in the morning we don't have much to discuss as I hear you are bearing information from Edison that you have come on behalf of Alata and that our goals may yet be aligned your armband pulses again big <laughs> just mumbling to myself can can I see him now? As a show of good faith, you may. But I warn you, they are broken. We have done what we can due to the Council of Palando. But whatever it is you seek, I do not see it in him. Understood. The rest of you, make yourselves at home. You will be honored guests for now. And take this with you. Take it to heart. I can be one of your strongest allies and greatest friends. Or I can be your worst enemy. This land has gone through much. My people have not survived this long on niceties. 
you help us. We will help you. And we will get along famously. Any questions? Sir, so just no. gonna shake his head, just not even saying, just cause like. We'll talk more in the morning about uh, expectations and where we stand. Very good. Would there be any objections to me going along with Vig? I was going to ask if Vig wanted May. to go alone or not. I don't care. You may accompany her. There is a guard outside. Uh, well, due to your absence, Locke and the... Uh, in the state in which they returned, uh, we don't have much in the way of prison cells. So we used your room as a makeshift one. So, <laughs> apologies in advance. Welcome home. <laughs> that being Which, said. Honestly, if that's the worst I've come home to, I'm not doing too bad for this visit. That being said, Locke, it is truly great to see you again in one piece. We have much to discuss. If Palando stayed behind, I fear that there is more at work than we understood. I believe there's truth in that. Very well. The evening is yours. We will speak in the morning. If you have need of me, you can find me over there. She points across the the pond, and there is a a, a, a brazier uh, lit. In the the fire itself seems to have a bit of a, a different coloration hue to it that it almost burns uh, uh, in a more yellow than it does like of a reddish orange. It's it's very subtle, but it is quite different. Uh, and on the opposite side of it uh, appears to be a, a, a mustering field or a carved out barracks of sorts. I'm going to head there. Okay. Close to ripping the armband off my arm. <laughs> Okay. You make your way uh, down a, a cavernous hallway that sort of veers off and splits out into a uh, almost like room after room. There's about like four different carved out rooms here with wooden wooden doors placed in 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 the the archways, standing outside. Uh, one of them are two sort of masked Avari guards uh, with uh, spears at their sides. They uh, regard uh, those of you that are walking this path. They notice Locke and do, do recognize him, but they don't immediately do anything as you just enter the space. The armband pulses. At this Do point, Fig, it pulses uh, to the point where it feels like it's constant and to the point where it almost begins to feel like it's gripping, almost restricting and, and pulling at the skin that it happens at such a, a speed. I just give a grunt and hold it. He's definitely here. Hey, are they blocking? Did you say they're that? They're standing at, they're, they're flanking the door. I'll just look at Bolum and go, Law, can you let them let us in? I feel like if I demand, it's not going to work. <laughs> Athiel has given us permission to speak with the prisoner. And I have a couple personal belongings I'd like to get taken out of my room as well, since it's being used for this purpose currently. <laughs> they look at each other, sort of bob their heads a bit, and nod. One steps to the side, takes out a key, unlocks it, and then hands the key to lock. <laughs> <laughs> lock and key! There you go, you got lock and key. <laughs> well, one session back was great, guys. It's been real. <laughs> See you in a couple months.
<laughs> Thanks for driving plot. <laughs> no problem. No problem. <laughs> I know. So in we go. Yeah. I once the doors open, I step in. All right. So the fig, you step forward and push the door open, and you see a s small room, uh, sort of carved out of the stone. Uh, there is a sort of lit sconce on the right side that illuminates the room, and there is not fully crystal in here that like the main cavern, but there's enough to that sort of dances around. But the main source of light is that is that sconce. Uh, off to your left, you mm -hmm. see a, a small bed uh, or cot uh, that just looks disheveled. Um, not been made, but it looks definitely has been slept in or at least used uh, as of recently. Uh, across the way, uh, you see uh, a sort of dark maroon, red-like, torn, tattered banner uh, that hangs above uh, that has been mostly ripped through uh, and bears marks of like oil stain, soot, and, and burn, and just sort of time itself has worn away at this thing. Uh, but it does bear a uh, an emblem that appears to be uh, a hammer, or not a hammer, sorry, an anvil being struck by a hammer. Oh, the, um, Mal beneath, sorry. beneath that uh, sits a, a small. Uh, desk, which has uh, off to one side various uh, smithing tools for fine detail work uh, and a couple of hammers, but definitely no no forge or anything here. It's just a, a handful of, of, of uh, tools wrapped in uh, uh, leather uh, bindings and a small candle lit on that desk as well. Uh, on the floor next to it on the right, you see uh, the uh, an empty uh, uh, torso piece of, of armor uh, that bears uh, dark black uh, metal with red uh, highlights cut throughout that just sort of rests there in the dirt. Finally, with, their, with the back turned to you, you see their hands pressed against uh, the, the desk and they're sort of leaning over it, the hair falling forward with this silverish blonde hair that just seems to be falling from their face and just uh, obscuring most of it uh, in sort of like a cream dirty looking undershirt with uh, leather straps behind that seem to be either a bit of like a harness or something that might have held uh, a sheath of sorts uh, and their uh, lower half just covered or, or donning a like sort of black uh cape like uh hip cape uh that you probably would see in full metal alchemist because i can't ever remember what that's like or what it is and they're just sort of leaning over and you just see the 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 body sort of rising and falling as they they breathe heavily and you see poking out from the hair the tips uh, of this yellowish green skin ear I've dreamed of this. Is it you really notice, you? You notice the armband ceases. It rose to a point where it was pulsing so much it almost felt like it was constricting. And once you cross that threshold, it stops. So, I have found you. You see the, the head tighten up as they almost stand up straight. They take a deep, deep breath, and they slowly turn to the group and look over you, and you see blinking as the hair, as they take their hand and sort of swip back their hair, and it falls behind them. They blink in these red eyes, bouncing from the from the light around, reflects back at you, almost glowing to an extent. And you just see the the face bear this this silent sorrow of emotion that you they 
don't immediately say anything, but it's the first inclination you feel when they when they look at you. Aaron. And that's where we're going to end tonight. Ooh. Now it's now it's time for Fig's backstory. Now now Fig can feel torn about someone from her past. I was torn since the fucking conversation with Tonel and Kirith Ungol about this. I was holding on to this since that long ago. Yeah, I didn't have my suspicions oh. until Morgoth Small. Yeah, they were definitely, yeah. Yeah, because Tonel did talk a great deal about him in Tonel's, in a uh, more in Tonel's. Yeah, mom. like right before <laughs> she died. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Yep. All right. Now I got a week to actually know. I already know exactly what Fig is gonna do, so this should be fun. <laughs> I want to see this. It's like this has been a fuck ton of build up, and I want to um, see it. Um. Just for funsies did the did the handout show yes yeah uh okay. actually i don't twice have... i believe if you if you hit it twice oh. like i exited out the first time and then the second time it came up again and now it's okay still here it's like a I wasn't, mini i wasn't sh i wasn't sure if it was glitching out because it was on a different layer and i'm like what the uh, so Look, fig oh, just good. wants to fig just wants to live her foresty bear life as like a shamanic sh shaman druid crossover thing with a viking why why does this have to happen because <laughs> you wrote it like it, it. this is adventure <laughs> no i did not <laughs> i did not write this part this is all me i did not oh. write this part i gave I gave Brian fig backstory and like two page details of the three characters, Adathor, Northriel, and Galad, and then I went here. <laughs> oh, sure. And then I gave and then I gave a brief timeline of when she was with bears, when she was by herself, when she was with elves, and then when she left. <laughs> also her birthday and stuff, but nah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I have her birthday, so and it might actually come up in this campaign just based on how time works. Oh, for fuck's sake! So, oh no! Uh, oh no! Oh no! You guys have basically found the heart of the Avari, Ooh. and one very interesting leader. That's I'll nice. You own, I'll let you draw your own conclusions on how you want to describe her, uh, and the rumored myth and legend. Shadow of the East. <laughs> Love Sorry. you guys. If you get in trouble here, I'm not going to be on your side. <laughs> Just warning you now. <laughs> I'm fully away. Yeah. This is like, I will have your back up to a point. If you fuck up, you're on your own. I mean, I still think Fig could take out... Fig is so powerful. Fig is so strong. <laughs> Fig is one-shotted. Well, shit. <laughs> but... Uh... Age and treachery will overcome youth and beauty any day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? Oh my god. And okay. the Avari are ancient to me. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Yes. They're ancient to I'm the wizards. I'm not looking for a fight. I am not looking for a fight. A few minutes later. If there is Nine. one person I fight, it's the motherfucker in front of me. Nafil doesn't want to fight either. <laughs> <laughs> The feels just like, I'll slit but, your throat while you're sleeping. Mm-hmm. But that's where we'll pick up next week. Oh, oh, God, see God. where this encounter goes and what mm. all it will be discussed with the Avarian plans of what will happen next entirely. So, yeah. thank you all so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the ride thus far. Nick's back! Bye! Bye. <laughs> so, it was much rejoicing. Uh, yep. Yay! We'll be back next next week. We'll pick up here. So thank you all for joining us. Have a good night and stay proficient. <laughs>